Oh God. Violence. And here we are. Uh, welcome to another episode of the Gax Pack, everybody. Check it out. Gax Pack. Cool ass sign. Uh, it's our logo by Jim Wampler made, uh, and our cool shield sign uh, made by Kai Norman. This is all hey. all wood and leather. Even though that looks like uh, it's metal on top, it's amazing. <laughs> it's our so uh, we gotta we gotta give a big shout out to Kai Norman for making that. Hey, uh, I would like to double think... shout out Yokai Props on Twitter. He fashions stuff. Props. Pay him props. money for things. He's incredible. <laughs> and uh, you know it'd be fun because we all live in L.A. We should like each have it hanging up every week or something. We could like rotate. Uh, yeah, pass it around. Yeah. <laughs> I was gonna say, oh, did yeah. you guys ask him to make six of them? Uh, yeah, let's ask him to make five more. Perfect. Yeah, okay. Just knock it out. Just, I'll, just, yeah. I'll just nail it to the green screen behind me and we'll be good to go. Uh, before we get started, uh, I want to say a big thank you to our, our sponsors. Uh, uh, the World of Chaldea, Dwarven Forge, Sirenscape, and Idol Champions. Um, and we'll talk more about that in the break. Uh, let me introduce my players really quickly. Uh, I'll start with alphabetical order in their real names. Yes. And we'll go from there. So that means I win. You win. You win every time. You double every win. Every yeah. time. Yes. Hi, I'm a Bria Iyengar. My parents named me, so I get butt dialed by everyone. Um, I am playing Karina, the Circle of Stars druid. Druid. We have a better druid. Move along. Uh, Adriana. Hello, my name is Adriana Cazador, and I am playing Grath, the tiefling ranger, who is good. She's a good tiefling. I know, how'd that happen? Good tiefling. Horizon mm -hmm. Walker, mm -hmm. by there's the way. Some more, there's some more uh, backstory about that for sure. Um, mm -hmm. uh, B. Dave Walters. Uh, B. Dave Walters, I say words about things. Uh, I play the Nato. The divination wizard grave cleric, who is not good. No, he's not necessarily evil, or is he? I guess we'll find out. I I'll, I can always just look at your character sheet. Anyway, <laughs> we all can actually. <laughs> Eric Campbell. I am indeed that who is called Eric Campbell, and I am playing Leaf, the monk, full-blooded orc. Are we all doing hot voices today? All right, no. Is that all right? Okay, I was noticing too. Like, yeah. I mean, we've been doing this a while now. I feel like we've. Been, I just, you can just hear Eric now. <laughs> <laughs> and oh, we got a fate point already. Uh, but I'll talk about that right after Vivka introduces herself. Hello, I am Vivid Vivka. Vivid is a descriptor. My name is Vivka. Uh, I play the. A uh, two and a half foot, 30 pound kobold of pure fury barbarian who is now also like totally a powerful druid. And this is Mr. Prickles. All right. Um, so we have a, a fun way for the audience to participate in our show, and that is through the purchase of fate points for every 3,000 bits or in 30 bucks. Uh, our. our crew will get a fate point and what they can do with that is they can spend one and add two to their die roll or they can roll a d4 and or i will roll a d4 actually that's what we're going to do differently i'm going to roll a d4 and tell you how many fate points it will cost you to do a re-roll um i will turn my gain up it sounds like i need to <laughs> going around apparently All right. yeah i guess it's just it's, it's, it's one of those things that's just happening mm-hmm I'm about to turn myself up. Hold on. Do, 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 do. That was I'm going to turn myself up by Jason Charles yeah. Miller coming in number three on the charts this week. Copyright. <laughs> right. Seriously, I've you never know, heard that, Eric that, sound like this ever. And it, yo. It, it actually works really well. You do have like the podcast NPR thing going yeah. right now. We're yeah, like all things considered. Yeah, you do. Uh, yeah. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, ready? <gasps> yeah. How about me? The, uh, do I sound better now? Can you hear me more? Wait, you. Jason, you are yes, stepping you, on this. Yes, you but ruin, you're ruining Eric's moment <laughs> okay, by Eric, trying to run your, your show. Sorry. Okay. It's all right. Ready. It's all right. I, I won't smack into the mic. It'll trigger people, and I will understand why. So I'm just going to – I won't do my NPR impersonation. No, oh, do 
Oh, I'm doing yes. right now. Yes. Really? <laughs> oh, God. Um, um, uh, okay. Hi, you're listening to NPR News. And today, we're going to be where does it to walk in the Trump administration. <laughs> I mean, that's what NPR sounds like to me. That is, yeah. that is. You know. At first I, it was I, lovely, and then it was very moist. And <laughs> and I, can't, I can't simulate vocal fry. I can't do a Hannah Jolfi waltz. I, I can't do it. Where it's like, <laughs> welcome to NPR, and this is all thing. Yeah, no, mm-mm, I can't do it. Can't do it. But yes, brava. Yeah. I, I'm I'm the basic B who doesn't even have a microphone, so I don't even know where to talk louder to actually. <laughs> do I just yell at him? My radio voice is the, uh, get ready for the Furious 5 and 5, everybody. Oh, yeah. God. <laughs> See, I just go, you wear a monster nice. truck, like, eight dollars pays for the whole seat, but you're only going to need the, the edge. edge. <laughs> Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. Sunday. <laughs> Sunday. Yeah. All right, let's get back to the game, shall we? I think oh, what game? Oh, track. yes. Right. <laughs> what? what are you talking about? As long as everyone can hear us. All right. So, uh, the Gax Pack is on a mission uh you guys were hired by governor axel hynock to rescue his daughter julie who is cloaked with orly rathbone the son of clancy rathbone uh axel's sworn enemy until the two families decided to come together to try to find their son and daughter um and they thought for sure that they were somewhere in the Garden of Porfirio, which you have made yourself into. You've got it in. You're in the garden. You had a little encounter with some really annoying uh, little fairy creature leprechaun people that were annoying you. And uh, then you made it into a clearing headed towards the lake when you heard the uh, thundering of of hooves coming towards you and as you turn to your right and look uh you notice that is is a uh centaur man and woman are quickly galloping towards you uh are they armed do they look hostile they are armed one has a spear and one has a bow I said um, it before and I'll say it Dave, again. Joke's cent- on you. I'm a horse girl. Let's go. <laughs> hey, Dave, they're centaurs. The bottom half is a horse. Of course they have arms. <laughs> <sighs> um, cor- correct me if I'm wrong. We were up on a bridge cor- um, before, right? Or did we cross the bridge? You crossed the bridge through right. the forest into an open plain. And you right. then uh, on your way to the lake, this nice open plain, uh, and uh to the right was a little forest area and a little uh a little structure a little maybe sort of home looking structure and then uh out from that area came the two centaurs i look at you quickly look at grath and i just unhook the laser sword but i don't turn it on yet i say so can i just fight them or do we have to go through the pretense of pretending like we're friends first let's let's just stand pretend ground and just shield up, but I don't turn on the sword. <laughs> All right, everyone. Weapons at the ready. I, I fold my I hands behind they're... my back. Okay. Just... So the two, uh, the two uh, sort of uh, saunter up and get get within about uh, fifteen feet of you, and they're like, "Hail, greetings!" Hi. Hail. We're all holding Hello. our swords and battle axes. Like Korean is not. She's just like, <laughs> "Hello." Leaf will offer a smile and say, good afternoon, if it is afternoon. Time's Are a construct. Are you new residents of the garden? I have not seen you before. Recent arrivals. Would you say that's accurate? May I look at everybody else? Mm-hmm. Yes. Yes. I just ah. uh, stand there with my axe and go, get any closer and I'll bite your ankles. Uh. Mm. Well, have you found a place to settle yet? This is a wonderful place to live. I think we're just passing through. We're passing Mr. through. Nice. Exactly. We're oh, looking yeah. for Thanks a place. Serena. Hello. Mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> my name is Proudfoot. Maybe not. Proudhoof. I mean. My name is Proudhoof. Proud Proudfeet. Proud <laughs> right. Sorry. I went. I went into Hobbit mode. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Pleasure to meet you, Proudhoof. Uh, Proudhoof. 
we are just passing through, looking for a place to settle for a little bit, possibly. Uh, would you possibly give us a, a lay of the land uh, of this area, of this lake? Have you drunk from the fountain of all heal yet? No. Uh, no. No, no, no. We were uh, we were saving that for a special occasion. Uh, <laughs> I I look around. I did. I did twice. Right back to back. Didn't phase me at all. We don't know if that was the fountain snacks. All residents must drink from the fountain. What is that? Then we aren't residents. Okay, we're doing a little hostility. Can we just ask why? That is the way. Mm. Those are the rules. From whom? From Porfirio, of course. Have you met Porfirio? Alas, he passed away before I was born, but yeah. we believe he is reborn and here again. Oh, can we meet him? Can you take us to meet him? I am not sure if he can see you at this time, but oh. he is in the castle. And he points across the river to another open clearing um, that is clearly not a castle, but it looks like three large hedges mm. on the other side of the lake. Is that and I, he I see anything more details? Yes, what you see because of your eagle vision is um, you, you see, uh, first of all, looking across the lake, you see an oval, uh, there, there's a small island in the middle of the lake and there is an, it's oval shaped and there is sort of a white uh, structure on that, on that small island. Then across the lake, you see three extremely large hedges, like one is maybe uh, 50 feet across, another one is 200 feet across, and the other one's 50 feet across. So if you're looking across the lake, you see the, the large one that's 200 feet across. This is still about a thousand feet away, but you've got mm -hmm. eagle vision up to a mile. Which um, is 5,280 so feet. Nothing uh, will surprise you in an open, if, if you can see with an open... Uh, this is a simple observation of fact. I suppose it is a fact, but it is just also just a conversion, really. Yeah. An observation? Do you observe each individual foot? I mean, I suppose you have. You can see them all, right? Also, you can hear me say that? I just thought you just always are going on about snacks facts, and usually I just indulge you. Yes, I can hear you. Can we all excuse hear me for wanting to learn. It's, Speaking of you're speech, giving the fact you already knew it. So, but uh, you know what? Never I mind. I wasn't talking about me learning. I want you to learn. Ah, uh, you have taught me a great deal, snacks. That is true. You are very welcome. So, are we attacking them or no? I'm no, prepared no, 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 to. So no, no. Oh, okay, just checking. All right, uh, never what? mind. And I start to uh, finally put my axe away. Uh, proud hoof couple follow-up questions if you wouldn't mind one uh what's the time limit in which we need to drink out of the fountain two where do we find the fountain three did you are you seeing a you pointed that's and i'm seeing hedges so it, it you said is there a castle there and i don't see it and why so three questions mm. the castle is here and not here okay of course in uh, order to get to the castle you need to go through the maze. Mm. Mm, I don't suppose you've seen new people coming into the maze recently, like specifically perhaps a young couple. What business would you have with them? So you have seen them. I got you. He, he does not look at you and continues to look at Leaf. Uh, Leaf just says full transparency. We've been tasked to find them by those who are worried about their safety. What's the lady centaur doing during all of this? She's just looking at you with uh, suspicion and disdain. Aww. Holding her bow, not cocked, but just 
Mm -hmm. uh, I guess if we're going the full disclosure route, uh, Leaf. And you. when you, f if and when you find these two, what is your plan to do? Well, I think it's situational depending on what the circumstances in which we find them in, but the initial idea was to bring them back to those who love them. Hmm. I mean, if they don't want that, then that's fine too. We just, have we just to want sure to talk to them. Safe. Hmm. You know, from the outside, everyone thinks this place is absolutely bonkers. So, Dave, insight check. <laughs> okay, I don't like any of this. Mm. Um, that is uh, twenty-two. Ooh. You get the feeling that. Uh, he does not like what you're saying and not that he's hiding anything, not that he is hiding, uh, not that he's lying to you, but he's certainly not telling you everything. I ignore him completely and turn to the female centaur mm -hmm. and I just say, this one is hiding something, but you seem more the active type. Mm -hmm. Where are those children so that we can take them home to their families? Uh, she draws her bow and roll for initiative. Shit, sword comes up. Like, <laughs> Sorry. No yeah, one knows how to get an initiative like roll that. like you, B-Dave. <laughs> <laughs> Even when you're trying to be nice. I could have just swung. I use my words. Okay, I guess let's do violence. Later, I need to know if the fountain is caffeinated because I actually don't do well with caffeine. That makes sense, truly. Well, check that out. I finally you are in combat me. now. I mean, yes. literally. Oh, wait, as I'm pulling out my axe, leave. I am yep. questioning the caffeine content of that fountain. Nineteen <laughs> for me on initiative. Ooh, nice. Nineteen. Fourteen for Karina because I'm trusting my physical dice this week. Damn, Graf. Damn. I just got a twenty-three and yeah, natural twenty on D&D. <laughs> <Let's go. laughs> oh boy, now I have to. Oh, uh, Yay, violence! Seventeen for for Ooh. Leaf. We are all on a hair trigger right now. Yeah. Uh, I originally had eight, but I had advantage, and then I realized I was ADD and forgot it. I think it was a sixteen. You know, you can go back and check if you hit the little minus sign. Where is it? It'll show you. Sign? Yeah, in the yeah. chat. Oh, and Karina, what did you get again? 14. 14, okay. So, so snacks, nice. go up to where you Pickle. see like campaign, the Gax pack. Yeah. There's a little like minus sign in a text bubble. No, there isn't. And leaf, oh. one more time. Oh, oh, that, okay, I understand. Yes, it okay. was 16. Leaf, what was yours, 16 also? No, mine was 17. Okay, great. Then we are good. All right, Graf, you got the jump. You see her drawing her bow and about to release, but you can do something first. What is it? Casting Hunter's Mark on her, the okay. female centaur. And I, Grath draws her bow and just starts letting loose on the centaur that drew her bow and started to attack. All right. And let's see if I actually hit. Oh my, oh, I'm using the digital dice this time. Let's see, let's see. Oof. Good lord. Why isn't it not loading for me? What did I get? You all can see it before yeah, I Yeah, you got a 26. You can. You got a 26. Oh, yes, Thank you. Okay. Does that hit? Uh, 26 will hit. What do you know? Ooh, cool. All right. Well, as I draw my bow, I just glare at Thanato like, must you always choose violence? First? She drew her bow first. It is true. And then I let loose the first arrow and it is 11 damage. Mm. Wow. Thunk. Here, hold this. Okay. All right. You uh, that's a direct hit. All right, next hit, just immediately right after trying to get this over with. Okay. Oh, oh, Let's find out how much they hate oh, orcs or you're kidding me. Wow, another natural 20. Let's go. Yeah. yeah. 20, is it 29 hit? No, sorry, it doesn't hit. Yeah, no. yeah, of course. Yeah, we're leaving. Of course it hits. Okay, uh, all right, I let's see the key damage. and run. <laughs> What do we got? Remember, that's a crit. I had to learn, I had to do this the wrong way. Yeah, it took me a while to learn that if you right click on the damage and select critical hit, it'll roll the damage for you. Wait, what? I think if I got it. If you right click on the boxes for the damage that you were doing, it'll give you the opportunity to click critical hit and it'll automatically double the dice roll for you. Oh. 
if you right click does it anyway, if you roll a nat 20, I've seen it do that. Too. Yeah. And if you right click on a lot of these boxes, it'll let you roll with advantage or disadvantage. Yeah, the 20 it's should do it. It's that so many things allow you to crit on a 19. That's why that um yeah. exists. Ah, uh, gotcha. yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Well, I... with the crit, I got an 18 damage. <sighs> Whew. Just like those are all my frustration <laughs> at like she's pissed. <laughs> I'm sorry, did you just obliterate the female centaur because she lifted her bow? Good job. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe if we just talk to them first, uh, we were talking. Murder. She I mean, didn't want talking. to talk. Let's be honest, we don't have time for this kind of dialogue in the middle of the fight, right? Because <laughs> we're all re <laughs> expressing our regrets, or at least we would be. You're all yelling at this at each other. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it's now Thanato's turn. Um, how is she looking? Like, she seemed like she's still pretty stout, or that that, that hurt her badly? Uh, it definitely hurt her badly, but she's still... She's, she's still... She's still looking, upset. She's still going to be firing those arrows, you know what I mean? Hmm. Uh, um, I, I just sort of smile at them and raise my hands. Spirit shroud of the dead come into this beautiful place of eternal life and then manifest around me again in, okay. um, toll the dead on that lovely lady. Don't. Um, she needs to give me a, uh, oops, that's not the right thing. A whiz, wisdom 14. Mm. Uh, that did not make it. Excellent. Um, that is going to be... Uh, 21 points of damage. <laughs> okay, so... Bef uh, <laughs> I'm trying to decide, like, how... Like, all right. It, she was definitely going to fire at you, and, uh, you know, you, you were certain of that, but you all were so quick that uh, Grav's two stout hits, including a critical hit, and Thanato's 21 points of damage, just she falls. Levels her. Yeah. Always well. quick and violence. Yeah. I just look at the mail, and I'm all like, last chance. <laughs> but that's it for me. <laughs> okay. Leaf, it is your turn. Uh, uh, he's not backing down. Okay. And this all happened basically instantaneously. I would say that she she let her arrow fly, uh, but because she was just, uh, you know, ob obliterated, it just sort of flew up into the sky harmless. I just uh, picture it like a cartoon. Like she's just there raising her arm and it's like doo, 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 doo. Air, poof. I'm going to dash towards her fallen body. Okay. And Leaf is going to slide down to one knee and taking two fingers, he's going to strike a critical spot at the base of her neck and I'm going to expend a point of key and heal her okay. with physician's touch. Okay. Right in front of her companion. And that is going to give, uh, let's see. Handy feeling that's going to be 1d6 plus 3. I guess I have to roll this raw. So she is going to get back. We give it in the team. We take it away. So five points of five points of healing to her to stabilize her or to stop her from dying, essentially. Okay. So he just runs up there and just in six, like, strikes right underneath the jaw. And then... Um, immediately slides back and raises his hand. And I imagine that's all I've got time to do is I basically just send some positive energy into her and step back. And he'll just say, the as just like as a free action, he'll just say, wait. Uh, Proud Hoof, it is actually Proud Hoof's turn. So Proud Hoof uh, kneels next to her uh, and sort of grabs her and says, what have you done? <clears throat> and Leaf isn't going to answer. He's just going to wait for her to wake up. She starts to stir and he sees that she is, uh, that she's alive, um, but she's still prone on the ground. So I can heal injuries if you like. But it is important that this doesn't go any further. 
You've seen what my companions can do. It doesn't have to be a fight. Well, and I haven't even gone yet. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. You don't want the Twilight Druid to go, believe me. Well, you can see what my companions can do. And he takes two fingers to his mouth and whistles. Okay. <laughs> Um, but Karina, Once again, your, your mercy is misplaced. Karina, it's now your turn. <clears throat> it is? Uh-huh. No, okay. it's Snack's turn. I'm sorry. No, it's Snack's turn. Yeah. Great. Okay. Um, uh, I see all that, and uh, I've taken out my battle axe, and I take a moment to zen my new druid powers into it. In my head, I am swirling with leaves and vines, but in reality, I'm just standing there. I can feel the power of the earth. And I raise and I hit the female centaur. (laughs) (laughs) Okay, well, she's prone, so you have advantage. Um, Tell me what you- In addition to the protectics. Right. Oh, oh yeah. Okay, that's a 21. That will hit. Excellent. She has like three, or she has like five hit points right now. Yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> well, I hit her for eight. Yeah, I think even with your damage bonuses. All right, so she's dead again. Uh, and the entire time I hit her, never take my eyes off the uh, the male centaur. Just weird flex, but okay. Oh, the other people. Yes, for it. Mm. Uh, and you know, as I'm saying that, I wind up and just go for uh, the knees on the uh, the male centaur. Okay. And that is a natural it. twenty, so oh, twenty-five boy. to hit. Do 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 do, and that is uh, twelve points of damage. Okie doke. So, um, yeah, I took her down, I hit him in the knee, and then I do a quick little spin and try to uh, sweep best two out of four legs, however many legs I can get with the, uh, with the shield to try to uh, uh, knock the, the uh, male centaur prone. Okay, and that's a... Uh... Athletics versus athletics. Right. One second. Strong. Um, what'd you get? Ah! What'd you get? Um, eight. <laughs> Sixteen. That's not how that works. Yeah, that's not how, that's not how it works. <laughs> I got a 16. But I, I rolled really bad, so I knew it was not good. Um, yeah, so I do the little spin and uh, almost like a game of pinball, I use my shield to just ding, 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 ding and uh, knock all the legs out so the uh, the centaur falls down. And then I sweep back up, and as a bonus action, I look at Karina and go, really though, he start, like she started it, and then he continued it. None of this is my fault. I did not mean to do this. I mean, I right. have a question about undercutting other people's, like, you know, intentions, but now's not the time. Good job. Oh. Oh, Leaf is a very good guy, and he, like, I'm still talking his battle. Is Leaf is a yeah. very good guy, and he really tried. But, you know, then he called other people, and he didn't. Yeah, so I like when good. Leaf is respected for his actions. He was His actions were not being respected. <laughs> Karina, it's my turn. Um, Karina, it's now your turn. Uh, <laughs> uh, I would like to hold my action uh, to cast a guiding bolt, but I first want to just have a conversation with... Uh, our laid low proud hoof. Just who did call off whoever you just called and we can have a conversation. If not, you're not going to survive this. So kind of your things are in motion that cannot be undone. I don't but think here's that's the thing, true. you're holding your action, but you have the last move of the of the round. Yeah. Uh, I should be able to hold it until my next turn, right? Mm-hmm. So if someone well, else appears, I want to attack. Okay. I just want to give him one more chance. Like you can, you can call them off. That's the thing. Uh, nothing is forever except for death, and even then, not always. But it doesn't have you to. You get be the this feeling way. that he's too upset to reason with you at this point. Huh. Oh well. 
All right. Uh, then, yeah, I want to so ready guide a guiding bolt. bolt for, like, whatever comes through the trees that he summoned. Okay. So, um... But it, here, here's my question, a rule, uh, rule question to our fellow DM players. If you're holding your action and and now it's at the top of the round... Um, that person loses their action if they don't it's, take it's, it. It's up to you. I do it round for round. That she being the last in the order, that's the end of the round. Some people at their table do do it turn to turn, you know? So really, it's up to you. I will say, if you're doing it round to round, you should tell her so she can do what she's going to do. Yeah, if or you want to say that, that it might have to do... I think what's going to happen is whoever he called is going to appear in the next round. So whatever you're going to do, you're going to have to do it now because I'm about to go to the, the top of the next round. Sure. Okay. I cast Guiding Bolt on them then. Okay. Great. I love it when she does that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's a 21 to hit. That hits. And I'm just going to do the damage on here because I cannot be bothered. Oh, shit. 23 points of damage. They were all sixes and one five. Oof. Oof. He's not looking good. Mm. Ouch. Um, but <laughs> it is now the top of the next round, and what you see approaching out of the woods are um, four bipedal, somewhat humanoid figures um, with horns on their heads but um uh woolly legs and uh cloven hooves for feet like satyrs basically yeah, yeah. Uh, like satyrs exactly <laughs> and yeah, they're running that. towards you screaming and yelling they're so like satyrs they are satyrs mm -hmm. my goodness they, they look so much like satyrs perhaps they are mm. It's hoofing time. Um, but Grath, it's your turn. So they're within bow shot for sure. They're about. Um, All right. Well, Grath still has her away. bow out. It's it's drawn. But before anything, I want to cast uh, Thaumaturgy. Okay. And just in a booming voice, we do not need to fight any longer. We do not need any more bloodshed. We don't wish to shed any more of your blood. You can see what we are capable of. Call back your warriors, proud hoof. And she just kind of keeps her, you know, bow out in an attempt to maybe intimidate them, change their mind, but we'll see. Proud hoof um, is not responding to you. He then responds you have with chosen a, with death. A... <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, all right, so then I attack. So let's see if this hits. Let's see if I'll get the nice rolls. Look, Leaf, this is the thing. We tried to talk several times. I don't know. <laughs> he literally chose death. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's all right, so with my second. Doing it. I don't know. 24, does a 24 hit? Mm-hmm. All right, now let's see and the so you're attacking And I'm, your I'm aiming I'm aiming at- uh, At Proud Hoof? Proud Hoof now. Okay. Taking out the leader. Look, Ooh. he was too proud, okay? When, when Grath <laughs> did that thaumaturgy scary thing, I was there with my axe and I just took a big step back from him. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Good idea. Well, six. Six is the only damage, honestly. But... Six? Okay, yeah, he's still, uh, he's still hanging on, but not by much. Aimed right at his chest, just yeah, to oof. send a message more than anything. Right in the chest. Hmm. Uh, then if he's still alive, Donato just looks at him and says, This place is dedicated to eternal companionship. I shall send you to rejoin your friend. <laughs> and the spiritual weapon appears looking like her bow. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and um, I, I blast him with the spiritual weapon first. That's so disrespectful. <laughs> That's nice. He's Which is nice. 14 he points of damage. Uh, that will do it. Hmm? That'll do it. Excellent. And then uh, I'm going to... Um, mm, the other ones haven't closed in yet, right? No, they're, they're, they're still actually... They're about 50 feet away at this point. Is there an oak tree anywhere nearby? 
N no, you're in a clearing, and uh, there's not an oak tree within. There's not actually. There's no oak trees in this area. Hmm. Um. Then I turn and I look at one of them, and I'm like, "Let's see what these things are made out of." Uh, mine sliver. I need an int fourteen save. Mine sliver is one of my favorite. Uh he got cards. it. Believe it or not. Oh no! He rolled well. Hmm. When it, when it doesn't hurt him, I just like turn on the sword, and I'm like. We'll do it the low tech way. <laughs> no, it's kind of a high tech. Sword. Although, yeah, your sword is kind of high tech. <laughs> well, that's true. Now, what's true. technology? I don't even know. Yeah, uh, that is that is it for me. I will say, it, but do I even see? Wait, oh, we lost somebody. Who did we lose? No, it's okay. We oh, just, we, um, do I even see an oak tree? No, you do not see an oak tree where you are. You saw mm. one back in the clearing when the leprechauns were messing with you, but you yeah. do not see one. I'd rather there. die than go closer to the leprechauns. So yeah, right. then, uh, I'm, uh, I'm gonna, um, I will say with my movement, I'll move in front of Karina where they got to go through me to get to her. Yep, okay. uh, and that's it. All right, great. Um, I appreciate you're like a full, like two feet over me though, but I'm like. <laughs> I appreciate you. it. Thank Fine. you. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> that's it. Okay. What? What's happening? Leaf, it's up that's for it. you. That's it. I'm done. Yeah. Is it my turn? Yep. Okay. Um, so th is this guy still standing, this, the, the centaur that was in front of us, uh, Proudfoot or Hoof? No, he's dead. He just went down, right? Yeah, yeah. I dropped him. And, and, and so how many of these satyrs are out in front of us? There's four satyrs about 50 feet away charging you. Okay. Um, I'm going to hold my action until he gets me then. Okay. Because they've got um, melee weapons, right? They're trying to close the distance. Right. They have weapons drawn. Yeah. Um, and yeah, let them come to me. Because I have only movement speed of 45 feet. I'm not going to waste my action economy on this. So I'm just going to hold my action. Leaf stands there with his arms folded behind his back and a grim, sad look on his face as he turns to face the oncoming attackers. Um, when when I see him do this, I do just look at him and I say, "Perhaps your mercy was not misplaced, and they simply were unworthy of it." Ooh. Leaf glances at you for a second and says, "You know, Thanato, you were under no obligation to be the person you were five minutes ago." I know, it's a privilege. <laughs> you are not ready. And we'll just turn and glance. look back at the oncoming. <laughs> All right, I glance so towards both of them. Are, it's the satyr's turn. <laughs> and uh, two of them, you notice, have uh, melee weapons. They both have swords, and the other two have bows. So uh, they, they move uh, 40 feet closer to you, and then the other two move all the way to melee range with you. But then the two with the bows... Uh, fire into into you guys. So the first one, um, the first one fires at Leaf. That's a mistake. Um, <laughs> and that is a hit. Shooting at a monk with an arrow is a big mistake. Please catch well, it. I Leaf, that it. would be a hit. Uh, How much damage? for four damage. Okay, yeah, <laughs> I'm gonna deflect that. I roll three plus 11, so that's gonna be 15. I catch the arrow. Wow. And I'm gonna spend yes. a point of key and send it back to him. Oh, I love it when he okay. does it. It's like that. Is that an automatic action with that key? It's, yeah, I basically burn a point of key and send it back, so I'm rolling to hit. Great. Uh, I roll a 22. Yeah, that hits. Okay, he takes six points of damage. So Leaf just stands there with his arms folded behind his back and he kind of lowers his chin as he sees the arrow coming. And he just kind of goes, hmm. And when the arrow looses, he just slides his back ankle, turns to the side and catches it mid-flight, whips it around and sends it exactly along the same path and sends it right back into the, into the uh, satyr that shot it. Wow. 
fetch, fetch, That's pretty fetch. awesome. <laughs> with the same velocity. Actually, with somehow with more velocity than it would have hit you with. So that's even more impressive to me. Um, the Monks and arrows, one, don't do that. <laughs> the second one fires at uh, Thanato. And... What's your AC, Thanato? Sorry. Uh, it's currently 17, but it can be more. <laughs> right, I know you can use your you can use your uh, special shield power. Mm -hmm. uh, but this one goes flying right over your head. Yep. Into me? <laughs> I was in my head. Oh, the flaw uh, with, with my strength. A little to the left. Oh, you're heading a little to the left. Sorry. What what have I done? <laughs> So snacks, it's now your turn. There's two right in front of you, snarling, ready, ready to attack. They've just used both of their move action to get to you. So, um, but here they are, ready to defend their garden. <laughs> um, I am crazy inspired by that super cool move that Leaf just did, and so I'm going to take my battle axe and like you know, stand like he was and like whip it around the same way. But as I'm doing it, my eyes just start widening and I start frothing at the mouth and I enter into a rage. But it's 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 a rage of inspiration. It's it's a rage of, gosh, he's so cool. I want to be strong like him. But yeah, I'm just like <laughs> And uh, yeah, I'm going to uh, enter into my rage and hit, let's, let's just keep going for ankles. It's all I can reach. The one right in front of me. You're the ultimate ankle biter. I mean, <laughs> I'm trying. <laughs> okay. Uh, all right, so that is a 15. That will hit. Excellent. Uh, let's see. All right. And... Oh, no. <laughs> that is a five. <laughs> that will not hit. You can always no. use a fate. Oh, no, no, that was a damage. Oh, for damage. Oh, sorry. Okay, uh, great. <laughs> so it's just like, no. I just took a little off the top. I basically shaved his leg with the uh, the battle axe. Mm -hmm. Nothing too exciting. Um, but I'm embarrassed because I feel like Leaf is watching that. So I'm going to try and hit again. Mm -hmm. Okay. And that is a 22 yep. to hit. It's a little bit better. All right, that's a nine for damage. Um, and yeah, so I, I do the same thing, hit the other side of the knee, and I'm going to just crouch down and hold on to my uh, shield and just try to ding right on the, uh, what is it, like the Achilles tendon. I'm just going to try to hit that Achilles tendon, just try to like knock him. So that is a dirty 20. Uh, yep, yeah, nope. <laughs> yep, nope. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I, I take my uh, shield and <laughs> it's, I'm trying to be super careful with this because that first hit was so bad. So it's actually kind of like I lay the um, shield up against like the back of the legs and just push on it. So he's like, uh, and just falls down. It's very embarrassing for him. He, he's he looks he looks completely shocked, actually. And embarrassed. Important. He looks embarrassed too. I, I want to hit him critically in the ego. Uh yeah. Well, you're and not sure, a... but you, you you're pretty sure he's embarrassed. Excellent. Excellent. No, I can no. incite him later. Um yeah, and as a bonus action, I turn and look at Leaf, tail wagging like mad, like <laughs> like did I do did I do did I do good? <laughs> Leaf just raises his chin and nods with a smile on his face. <laughs> okay, my turn. Done. Karina. Uh, how close are the the satyrs that just shot and missed the nada? They're only they're only um they're about ten feet out, so they're not far. Perfect. Uh, I want to look over to them and just say, "It's not just your garden," and I'm going to cast Thorn Whip. Uh, does a 17 hit? Yes, it does. And in fact, um, go ahead and roll, roll your, for damage. Sweet. Uh, it's nine points. 
of damage and uh, it gets pulled 10 feet closer into melee range, which is actually Thanato and not me. So batter up. <laughs> um, so nine points of damage, right? Mm -hmm. You actually feel, I don't know, there's something in, there's just something that you know. You've cast Thorn Whip a lot of times in your in your life. It's it's a spell you've used a lot. You feel like it's doing even more damage for some reason. <laughs> it's a pleasant surprise. More powerful here. You oh. you could say she whipped it good. <laughs> she definitely into, into, into shape. Yep. Mm -hmm. She shaped it up and it got straight. But uh, you feel like you've done more damage than just nine. Oh. Oh, I like it here. <laughs> hey y'all, I'm a druid. Hey y'all, I'm a druid. No, I won't do it. To you. No, I won't do it. I won't do it. Oh, no. <laughs> good she feeling. like snaps back at the satyrs like you want audio to quality, good feeling gone. <laughs> you just took it from me. <laughs> <laughs> and that's this your gonna be that's everything. That's it. Yeah. Okay. Uh great uh graph. All right. Uh graph casts Hunter's Mark on the satyr that is closest to us with a bow. So is it the same one that Karina just attacked? Well, no, because that one is now in melee range. So there's actually only one in... The other one, then. There's only one with a bow. Okay. Uh, were there two or four satyrs? There were four. Okay, I thought so. Two with swords, two with bows. The mm -hmm. Presumably the swordsy ones are coming. The one with the bow got pulled up close, correct? The swordsy ones are here, but they, they spent all of their action to get to you. Got it. Okay. Um, I guess. And now one of the Bowie ones is here too. Well, the other Bowie one, um, I'm going to we'll call cast Hunter's Ziggy. Mark on them. <laughs> um, I cast Hunter's Mark on them and let's see if I hit with my first attack. Oh God, this dice is so slow on D&D &D Beyond for me, but it's so much better than my actual dice. So I'm just <laughs> gonna keep going with it. I got a 17. Um. Great. Plus nine. Twenty-six. I'm pretty sure that hits. I uh, I think that hits. What do you know? All right. Under her breath, Grath, Grath just mutters, We warned you. And then just lets the first arrow fly. And She's not happy. We didn't, we didn't warn them for what it's worth. We're just doing a murder on them. They just got whistled at. No, she thaumaturgied them, remember? Oh, Tried yeah. to warn everybody after That's this fair. mess. Believe we're learning. He yes. warned her. We are learning, Snacks. Slowly but surely. They are uh, not learning. All I took from this is it all leads to the same place. Oh no. But you learned a good lesson. <laughs> Five damage for the first arrow. And, and then the true just... lesson is the violence we did along the way. <laughs> she does the Come same on. thing. Just... Oh, it's 12. It was almost a two. A Does 12? a 21 hit? Okay, all right, next arrow at this poor satyr. Just. And the damage is, I don't, I can't see it. Dang it. Hold on. For some reason, I can't see the damage it just did. Oh, seven, seven. All right, so like the last okay, one. Great. Just wordlessly, uh, she's just not saying anything anymore. She's in attack mode. You, uh, you know, two, two, two really good solid hits on the on the satyr bowman, but he still looks determined and and ready for more. Um, so I believe it is the Nato's turn. Is 23 enough to hit him? <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, then I'm gonna draw 21 points on him with the green flame blade. This is now. Which one is this? Is this the uh, one? This that... is the archer that Karina pulled close. The archer that Karina. It's pulled like close. she gave me a gift, and it's not even my birthday. Happy birthday! <laughs> For how many points? 23. That one. I mean, it. Describe to me what happens to that. One. She Feel just yanks it forward with the whip, and I'm just like. <laughs> Cut its head off. <laughs> Just don't even look at it as it falls. <laughs> the green flame blade. There it uh, is. And with the, uh, just like literally like it's nothing. And um, the other archer is roughly how far out now? 10 feet. Uh, I will drop the spiritual weapon on the other archer. Yeah. Uh, 
um, is 19 enough to hit him. It is. Excellent. Then that is I need to start giving to... these guys better armor. You no, know, or no, don't. Or you no. can certainly try. Uh, drop 13 on him with the spiritual weapon. Okay. Which looks like an uh, uh, the centaur's bow that pulls back and shoots at him. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Yeah. And I just look at him and go, <laughs> and that is it for me. Is he at 13? C. Okay. Still, still kicking. Still kicking. Um, it's now Leaf's turn. Actually, point of order. Uh, the yeah. one I just killed was anyone within uh, any of these ones within. Oh, sorry. That's the I wrong think thing. we're the only um, things within five feet of it. Within five feet, yeah. Because we I would say no because that was the one that that Thorn Whip yep. pulled okay. to you. Okay. No extra immolations then. Then that is it for me. Leaf. Where in? I'm wondering where I am in relation to the sword wielders now that have come charging in. Well, because so you were down with um. I'm with technically still standing next to. Proud Hoof. The, yeah. The now body, the proud body of Proud Hoof. Um, they would be to your left mm. and um i mean and they're 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 all within melee range for you because even okay. the archer is only 10 feet away all right the one that looks like i could <sighs> actually the archer hasn't really been hit except for the arrow that i threw at them right right so there's one there's one melee uh that has okay. not been hit at all and then there's the the archer that was pulled close is now dead, and uh, the other archer is has been injured, and the other melee person has been injured. But this one melee person hasn't been touched at all. Right. All right. I'm gonna engage him. Okay. So Leaf will slide up to him, and uh, yeah, I'm gonna spend a point of key. <laughs> okay. Here we go. I'm gonna flurry of blows this guy. Uh, all right. So. Let's go ahead and do our. Oh, do I don't want to do this. Do I want to fire? But yeah, I think I do. I think, no, I don't. Why don't we do this? I'm just going to do a normal two attacks on him. So, unarmed strike. So, my first attack will be. Oh, that's low. That's only a 10. Right over his head, I'm guessing. A 10 will not hit. Okay. Now we spend a fate point. Nah. Yeah, I'll spend a fate point on the second roll, though. Okay. Because that one was even worse. It was a one. Okay. Um,. Yeah, you can spend uh, you can spend both fate points that we have to for a reroll. Just one, just one, just one. No, but what I'm saying is that uh, oh, it'll cost two. Is yeah, it will cost okay two because a one will give you plus two, and then t I rolled a, a two on the right. d four, so those two will give you a reroll. Do you, is everyone okay with that? I don't want you to hit yourself. We've already had one guy <laughs> die from embarrassment. Yeah. like I can't, I can't take that. Okay, I'm rerolling. Yeah, that's a good. Yeah, that's a good. Uh, nice. A good idea wow. to uh, not hit yourself. Uh, so I roll a 19 to hit on the second to strike. Definitely hits. And you're gonna hear you're gonna hear honk. Can you guys hear honking right now in my mic? I, yeah, it was really cute. Just, There's this dude that goes up and down our street every day, and he tries to get people to come out and buy ice cream, and we have to hear this all the time. So Lee pulls I out hear a, just a horn and just starts honking at the guy's face just, nice. to, just to horrify him. I have that guy, <laughs> but it's for corn. Just like right. just like snatch oh, a, a goose bit. out of midair, oh, just yeah. aggressive yeah. honking, yeah. Um, so what Leaf does is he throws the first punch, but the second, it turns out it was a feint because the second punch comes up underneath the guy's chin. Leaf is going to channel um, this man's own and violent intentions back into him. And as the fist impacts on him, he does, uh, He's going to do uh, nine points of damage with the strike, and then I use the point of key that I spend for hand of harm and do an additional four points of damage of necrotic for a total of 14 damage. Great. As he just slams awesome. the fist up into him and just sort of sends that rippling effect of negative energy back up into his chest. <laughs> yeah. Uh, um, I still get one more. Oh, no, I didn't. No, because I didn't use filler of blows. Yeah, so that's it. That's it for Leaf. Okay, so it's now their turn. So that one uh, takes a swing at you, Lee. Okay. Um, that, that's fair. What's that? That's fair. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, you know, I mean, all's fair in, uh, in, in stuff at this point. Yeah. Um, but he, un 
unfortunately for him, misses. Oop. Just misses you. And then the um, the second the, the bow the bow person that's left bowman that's left shoots at snacks. And that is a hit on Snacks. I want to try to catch it. Uh, <laughs> catch it with six. your face. Uh, hold on. Sorry, 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 sorry. Uh, if five is subtracted from that, does it still hit? Um, Actually, no. Sweet. Then, yeah, Karina, as a reaction, just goes, no, no. And, like, a little constellation appears in the sky overhead. <laughs> no, no. Like, <laughs> But not the star, it catches the arrow, or what does it do to the arrow? Huh? What does it do to the arrow? Oh, it's just. I don't. Uh, you know what? I don't know. I I like the idea that maybe it's just a distraction. Here, how, okay. how about this? How about I did not see that you had a constellation appear. I saw just the satyr come up, and knowing you so well, I was like, mm, no, no and say it like exactly the same time as you thinking that I'm the druid. <sighs> yeah, okay. So so what do I think that I did? What does the, what does the arrow do? Uh I don't know. Um I don't think that ah, fuck it. We, sorry. <laughs> we could be cool. Uh yeah, I think the like a like a little vine like shoots up and like just cuts the arrow in half midair as her druid powers come in. I like that. <laughs> I, I am not shocked at all. I absolutely still am riding hard on that one. And I think that I did that. <sighs> that is your only warning. And then the, uh, there's one more that's attacking you. I appreciate there's at least three corpses, one of which has been killed twice. And you're like, that's your only warning. You're only warning. <laughs> right. the pile they of already life. got their warnings. Yeah, if you kill someone twice, though, there's still only one corpse, I have to say. We don't, get, the double, we don't get double XP for that, I'm guessing. Yeah, no, I'm sorry about that. Uh, oh. Double corpse, uh, uh. Mm -hmm. That is like my kind of double rainbow, though, double corpse. <laughs> what does this so mean? So, Thanato, uh, <laughs> At this point, uh, you, the the satyr in melee uh, with you gets a seventeen. I'll put my shield up. It will die with a meaningless existence, having accomplished nothing. <laughs> okay. So that'll bump my AC to twenty-two. Very well. Um, so it it uh, it thinks that it's scored a vital hit on you and your your shield. Uh, Thwarts it, and it is now Snacks' turn. Uh, so okay, so who's left? What's going on? There's three satyrs left. Okay. There's and... two in there's two in melee combat and one with a bow. Okay, and the two uh, who's uh one's engaged with Thanato, one's engaged with uh, with uh with Leaf. Oh, congratulations! Mm. <laughs> you already um... found the venue. <laughs> Uh, uh, if I recall, Leaf and I were very close, so I'm just going to spin around and uh, uh, hit the one that is attacking Leaf. Okay, excellent. Uh, yeah, uh, by the way, I am still raging, and I believe so hard in this uh, druid thing that, like, the foam stopped momentarily, and my eyes went normal when I did my druid power, and then after, that is your only warning, <laughs> and then back. So, I'm gonna uh, leap like a rabid lizard dog. Uh, 14, does that hit? Um, 14 does not hit. <laughs> okay, so I leap, just go up and poof. Hold on, let me try that again. <laughs> All right, hold on. And the second attack. Oh, this is okay. <laughs> okay. Okay, the, uh, 23. That will definitely hit. It's always the second one. I have a little thing in my shoulder. I have to warm up a little bit first. All right, and... And... Uh, that is six points of damage. Okay. And... Uh, <laughs> I'm going to, once again, uh, look at Leaf. 
uh, hoping that uh, he sees this and that I'm doing good and I'm going to take my shield and just try to like, with my little tiny legs, try to jump as high as I can and chest bump that guy with uh, with my shield just to try to knock him down. Also, one of one of the one of the yeah one one was prone. You're right. Okay, cool. Um, but that all right. Knock them all down. Okay. Uh, so that's a fourteen that I got for athletics. Um, he actually beat you this time. <laughs> awesome. So I. <laughs> I'm so not used to anyone doing that. So I, I gear up and hold the shield and I bounce off of him in a chest bump and like back up a little and be like, well, I did not expect that. Don't Come on, I'm trying to look cool in front of the monk. Ugh. He bounce off of him he's like, <laughs> <laughs> I just like, you know, laughs in your face. I laugh right back. <laughs> Come down here and say that. And uh, that is my turn. Karina, it's your turn. Sweet. Okay, so is there, sorry. So one of them, at least one of them is not prone right now, correct? Yes, there's two that are not prone. Okay, well then I'm gonna aim this guiding bolt at the one that uh, didn't get knocked down when my sweet snacks attempted to knock him down. Okay. Sweet. Oh. Yep, uh, does, a, does a 19 hit? Yes. Cool. Uh, for 18 points of lightning. And I think like looking over like Karina, uh, after like doing a couple things and like interacting with this garden, I think there's like little vines like snaking up her body and her eyes are actually kind of turning and she looks the most like a traditional druid that she ever has. And she's like getting lost in it. Like, oh, I like this garden. And you had a chance. Cascade. Yep, uh, that's it. That's the the light. It's lightning damage, oh, right? I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, the lightning. Don't know why I rolled that again. Electrocutes the uh, corsair, and you see all of the hair on his legs stick straight out as he. Sorry, it's radiant damage, not lightning. Oh, oh, well, they still stick straight out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Die. He just falls down right in front of you. Um, so it's. Now Graf's turn, and there's two left. There's the one with the bow and the one um, one in melee combat. Oh, you're muted. Sorry. What's Say the one it. farthest from me? The one with the bow, about 10 feet. One at home. Um, I cast Hunter's Mark, unless it's still cast on that one. Um, and it I would be. Bonus action to move it, but it doesn't cost another spell slot. It's okay. on the same one, though. It was the one oh, that you OK, on. then I don't have to move it. Yeah. Um, all right, so I just wordlessly aim my arrow. At that satyr. And, oh, oh, I think I missed. Let's see if this will ever load. It won't. Dang it. Pretty sure like a 14. I'm assuming it's 14. I can't see on my end. Can you guys see? Um, 14 would uh, miss. All right. And I guess like she, she misses. And the next one, is it within 60 feet of me? It's absolutely within 60 feet. Yeah, it's 10 feet away. Grath is a little bit enraged and she wants to just call upon her native infernal and cast darkness on the one that is close. So okay. Is that Hopefully possible? the other that, direction, that, so that you're will, not putting... Yeah, that'll blind us too, don't forget. No, yeah. th but out of our range, like, in that 15 foot circle, just, just the one that's like there. Uh, okay. If that's possible. <laughs> yeah, I believe you can place it so that he's on the edge of it and then it's just going farther the other direction, correct? Is that possible? Um, let's see, darkness, darkness. I'm gonna say it's possible because we're in the, yeah, I'm gonna say it's possible. All right, all right, yeah. So yeah, um, Grath just, her eyes just suddenly go black and she's just kind of in a little bit of a rage and cast the darkness on that satyr <laughs> okay whoa then uh thanato it's your turn if that's so one of them is uh, still alive and one of them is plunged into darkness exactly the one okay. still alive is actually the one uh uh, 
in f right now in front of um you uh i just look up at karina for a second and i just say i open my mouth like i'm gonna say something to her and then just like my eyes light up and my magic missiles come flying out of my eyes and shoot mm -hmm. through so. is, is that the one that's on the ground uh yeah but the magic it's fine the magic missiles don't miss Oh no, I just meant for the theater of the oh. mind watching this thing on the ground, just be like Ugh. Actually, you know what? If the one is still prone, I won't go for the one that is prone. I'll go for the one that's in the darkness. Just like All right, because magic missiles never miss. Yep, technically I've got Jim's magic missiles, so I have to roll because they do more damage, but I do have to roll. So um okay. uh do I have disadvantage because he's in the is dark? Is your shroud up right now? Oh yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. No, he's about to get lit up. Um Ooh. wait, so yeah. uh, if he's me... in the darkness and you have to roll to hit, then well, that would be a disadvantage. Let me ask you this. So the one the other one is prone, but he's point blank to me, right? You know what? Let's keep it simple. I'll just green flame. I'm gonna execute this dude. I'm gonna go from <laughs> disadvantage to advantage. Fine. Okay. Um is twenty two enough to hit him? Twenty two is definitely enough to hit him. But remember the green flame, that's ma that's magical flame, right? Oh yeah, but I'm hitting the prone one, not the one in the darkness. Okay. Oh, yep. but magical yep. flame doesn't work here. Right? Magical flame, flame is not. Flame doesn't work. Flame oh, doesn't work. I already green flamed the last dude, so know, theoretically well, that guy should have taken a D8 less. I don't. Know, I remember what I rolled yeah, he on. Still it. He still would have. He still would have. He still would have died. You uh, know what? Without the D8. Um. See, here's the problem. Now, anything I do, I'm like, uh, because I'm gonna like try and toll the dead out of spite, and I'm gonna, and I'm gonna miss. Um, or he's gonna make the save. Um, you know what? If you gotta be a monkey, be a gorilla. I'm going the gym's magic missiles. Screw it. All right. So in the darkness or below or right below you? Well, I'm gonna shoot the guy that is point blank. If I kill him, I'm gonna direct one of my remaining ones to him. Okay. Um, so one's a 15. Is that enough? A 15 will just hit. Excellent. Um, so. I'm going to do these incrementally because uh, if he dies, I'm going to send some downrange. Uh, let's see. Uh, seven. Uh, uh, 11 points from the first dart. Um, he's still alive. All right. Dart number two coming for him. Uh, that is going to be a 15 to hit him. The 15 hits. Hey, perfect. I realized you just told me what, what what I had needed to hit him, and I already forgot. Uh, that is going to put another eleven on him. That that uh, that he's done. Excellent. And the third the third dart's heading into the darkness, uh, which would would have been a twenty, but was taken from me, and is an eighteen now. It's all right. I'll take it. Uh, and that is going to be. <laughs> Six. Uh, twelve on him. In the darkness, <laughs> you hear a. <laughs> so you don't know for sure, but you're pretty sure you got him. I just like this swirling maelstrom of death all around me during this. Yeah. And like when I hear that this time, because you guys didn't see it last time, I just kind of go. And like pull all of it like right back into me, like. Dope. <sighs> and I look down at my sword and the green flame that won't start. I hate it here. <laughs> Karina responds in Druidic. I love it here. <laughs> uh, oh, Tish, that's French. Uh, and that is <laughs> it for me. Yeah. So now, um, you see all this carnage before you. Um, you see. Th two dead centaurs three dead satyrs you're imagining there's a fourth dead satyr in the in the darkness dome uh, next to you and um you're conceivably out of combat for the time being uh lee folds his hands right back behind his back and just goes <laughs> I realize we're on a time crunch here, but I'm starting to get a little fatigued. You're getting fatigued, Thanato. <sighs> I can do this all day, usually. Well, I but can't. my magic is growing weaker. All right, all right. Do we need to take a little rest? Is that, 
it's at that point that you hear a terrifying tiny little screech and uh you all turn around to see uh snacks with uh with their zoomies the axe being held above i'm standing over a satyr wild-eyed foaming at the mouth tongue licking wildly being like are we eating tonight are we eating goat legs goat legs do i do it tell me i can do it i didn't hear a no (laughs) (laughs) and uh i have goat legs for us oh yeah goat legs for dinner yeah (laughs) great um, so you recall, so in, in the medi- in the immediate area, you recall in the little uh, inlet in the, the lake that there was a small structure close by, possibly suitable for rest. Okay. All right, everybody, let's, there's a building over there. Let's go. Hopefully we don't have another battle on the way. I think we can hold ourselves Peacefully, right? Don't worry. I'll keep an eye on things while everyone else rests. Didn't you attack first? I didn't mm. want to, Graf. Karina. I did not want to attack first. In fact, let's have a little meeting, a team meeting, all right? I wanted to... Wait, I do board. have to sleep. <laughs> No! Wait, you're still in the middle of the, you're still like in this clearing. I mean, I gone anywhere, done Let's have a meeting at this I'll building. Hopefully there's no other centaur army inside of it. Okay, let's get there and we need to have a talk. All right. <laughs> Yell at me right now. So, uh. <laughs> Not like that, Karina. <laughs> you look over to what you think is, was probably the centaur's, um, lair. Um, and it's open on one side. It has a thatched roof, um, and so it's a low wooden structure oh. and a uh, single story. And there are there's a there's a roof that comes up sort of slanted, and then there's this open area, and then there's three doors. But the big open area is sort of like a, a open to the sky common living room, and it has a large trestle table. Uh, on which is set set the centaur's eating equipment and the various fruits and nuts. There's a jug on the floor at one end of the table, and uh, there's room against the walls and a series of casts and tubs. But it looks yeah. looks deserted. Other than that, good spot to but it looks defensible and a good spot to rest. So, mm-hmm. All right. well, rest and there are here. three. There are also beyond that. There appear to be three doors. Right. Those are suspicious. Three of them. Oh, oh, oh. There are closed doors. <laughs> there are closed doors. Oh, I can't so wait to use... open living room, but three closed doors. I can't um, wait to use the satyr's eating equipment to eat the satyr. <laughs> well, it's the centaur's equipment, as far as you know. Oh, my mistake. And I'll just use my hands. I, I have uh, the the hoof leg of the satyr, like, like in between my back paws and I'm just like shaving it with my battle ax, just like slowly coming down off of the rage high, like. Uh, <laughs> we all out did of char- Out of character, I, I definitely, definitely need to get a short rest in. But yeah. I would love a long rest. Yeah. I could use a long one. one. Like, yeah, like I we've used a, yeah. Slots. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm down, I'm down to the, to the level one slots. Yeah. Okay. Sorry, what were you gonna say, all. Grath? You were about to go into the thing. Uh, let's take a rest first and then we seriously need to talk about our strategy getting through this demented illusion forest place together but first rest let's just cool off you did fantastic snacks you were amazing Karina Donato like Leaf I appreciate everything you did but there are some problems we need to talk about Mm. Let's talk Let's about rest. him now while we're resting. Okay. I, I don't think I can sleep and talk. <laughs> Wait, maybe I can because I'm a druid now. Hold on. Let's try. I pass out. Okay. Oh. Rest what? first. Rest first. I'm too angry to talk So anyways. we're doing a short or a long rest? Long. Please, a long rest. That is a full day's. Okay. So like a full night's rest. Uh, All right. I Unless will pass out good berries Jason, to the squad. Unless Jason tells us otherwise. I'm going to go ahead and mark this as a long rest. I'm down for longer. I mean, I I think it would be 
good for you to open those doors before you just take a rest in the no. someone's basically front porch? Uh, okay, maybe I misunderstood. I thought the three doors were inside. The you're thing? not inside, so you're in the open area. Oh, I see. Where, oh, but there okay. was a, there's a table, so it's like it's like their their living room and their dining room is open to the forest. But then I there's see. three doors in the in the building that you can. Mm. No, I, I made a three doors down it. joke, and I appreciate that from everyone. We're everybody. mature adults. I know, and I, I just want to say <laughs> thank you. Um, so, uh, I, yeah, I, I will I will pose the question about the doors if we wanted to peek in and make sure that we don't have enemies at our backs for resting. Mm. And sleeping on a on a front lawn. Right. All right. Let's check these doors first, and then let's get a nice long rest. How does that sound, team? Mm. Sure. Okay. And Grath goes towards one of the doors, just walks right up to it with her bow drawn already, arrow knocked. Okay. Sounds good. All right, do you want me to open it since your bow's out? <laughs> I, I can you, multitask. Um, <laughs> you know what? All three all three doors are small, uh, little. They're just uh, bedrooms. They've <laughs> got, um, they're, 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 they contain straw mattresses on the ground against the north wall and a wooden locker against the south wall. So each, all three rooms are identical. Hmm. To, you know, roughly. I mean, they're not like, Whoa! This is Alice in Wonderland identical. They're just they're identical. Let's search the let, let's search the rooms then. I suspect that would be yeah, a smart move. The room yeah. I'm in. Uh, I look in one room. Oh, that bed is too big. I look in the other <laughs> one. That bed is too small. <laughs> I look in the third one. I'm going to sleep on the floor. <laughs> um. So none of the lockers are trapped or locked. Um. But in um you find like a comb, a brush, several several leather straps and belts, a plain woolen blanket and and a what appears to be a normal long sword in one of them. Uh, in another one there's um, well, uh, gaily colored ribbons, a bag of powdered chalk, a comb and a brush and a neckerchief. Um, but in the third room uh, inside the locker is an iron chest. It's probably locked, I'm guessing. Uh, it is it, at, upon just regular inspection, it appears to be locked. Okay, right. how much you wanna bet the key to this is on the body of poor proud hoof? <laughs> oh yeah. Is there <laughs> like to pick a locks. lock on it or does it just not open? There's a keyhole. Hmm. Mm. Is there any way I can use my sleight of hand to just pick the lock? Mm -hmm. Do you have lock picks? I believe I do. I, I am going to go ahead, since we're not far from it anyway, I'm going to go ahead and go back and search the body. Okay. The bodies okay. of our... Um, our you, you make I'll go with Leaf just in case. Of body, his poor mangled body, um, mm. and uh, you search him pretty thoroughly and you don't think that you found a key. Okay. Search the lady. Oh, well, I, I will have searched out all of them. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. As far as you can Good tell, job. you're not fine. So then I'll, I'll move back their, to the, their weapons on them. I'll move back quietly, back to go back to the house. Grath is still there trying to, like, just trying to lockpick it angrily with a fork because she didn't have any. I mean, you get, give me give me a sleight of hand. Give me oh, a sleight of hand check. Right. I'll cast guidance on you. Like, <gasps> they've got you. this. Ugh. Thanks, Karina. Oh, oh, I got a 19 plus three. That's 23, wait, 22? Plus sleight of hand. Oh, what was sleight of hand against? A D, oh, <laughs> guidance is a D4. D4, D4, D4. Yeah, definitely give me that. Ooh, a three. Yeah. So that's 25. 25 with the sleight of hand. Just like You are able to, um, to open it up, actually. Oh, it, it worked. Uh, hey, did, did you find a key? Because we didn't need to find one. There's, it, it's, I- No key, it. didn't find one. No. I can't believe you forked that. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like I still got it. When you open the chest, um, there is a leather bag, a uh, linen cloth wrapped around something, and a uh, smaller box within the chest. 
A box within a box. Um, all right, I open the smaller box. Uh, when you open the small box, you see that there are two potions. It's a pa- it's padded on the inside, and there's two um, two what looks to be potions, some sort of glass vials. Uh, hey, Karina, mm. what do you make of this potion? Can I do an Arcana check? Sure. Sweet, and I can add my tireless precision to it. Uh, I want to take the other potion and also do an Arcana check because that's how I got into this mess. Oh, oh there he goes, Max. Ah. I'm watching everything that Karina is doing. Like mimic. 25. Finally feeling like myself again. Let's go! Yes! <laughs> Karina, uh, you get the... Um, you are almost certain because you've seen them before in your travels that you are holding a potion of invisibility. Ooh. Uh, I somehow rolled a 12 and I know nothing of magic. You are, um, you snacks are certain that um, you're holding like a, a, a fruit drink Ooh. that 12. But even just, just glancing at it, Karina, you know that that's not a fruit drink. Yeah, <laughs> I didn't think so. I'm just like, did you say anything out loud, Snacks? Uh, I held it and I'm like, sniffing it even though the cork's still on like yep. lightly like putting my tongue against the glass like nope don't nope don't do that my god we found the first capri sun in dnd <laughs> <laughs> but there's it's no straw. straw attached to the outside stuck <laughs> to it somehow I, I feel like it is sierra mist or some kind of ecto cola mist from the sierras <laughs> Karina's just like a little bit behind snacks, like just out of her eye shot. So she, we don't want to break her her illusion. I'm very proud of her. <laughs> Great, but I do too. toss back. Uh, I toss back the invisibility potion to Grath and say, "It's invisibility." Uh, when you're done, can I get a? Would you like a second opinion, snacks? I suppose you can check my work, but you will find that it is probably cherry. Uh- <laughs> Sweet. Thank you. Uh, and I got a 17 on the second Arcana check. Oh, I didn't um, have Tyler's precision. Hold on, sorry. Dirty 20. Mm-hmm. 20, 20. Um, you're fairly certain it's a potion of haste. Yep. Ooh, uh, you know what? Damn. F- f- hey, mm, I don't know how to... Okay, it was a po- it's a haste potion, but it might be cherry flavored. So we're both right. I am mistaken. I think it's uh, a quick kiwi, a quickie. Oh, there you go. Hmm? <laughs> okay, you still have the leather bag and the linen cloth. And Grath's just kind of opening this up in front of everybody. I open up the leather bag to see what's inside and Perfect. unwrap the linen cloth. Um, when you open up the bag, you notice there's a ton of coins in there. Ooh. And when you open up the... Um, the linen cloth, there are two pretty hefty gems wrapped in there. Ooh, okay. Jason, don't hold out on me. What else is there? Come on, give me something good. Is there like a like a stick? Some kind of bone? Is like a, a dead bug? Rock? How many like rings of wishes did you find? That's it. Why won't you give me treasure? It's rude. <laughs> coins! It's always coins. Give me a rock. <laughs> Beth notices. I mean, you like have a literally have a magic amulet. You've done nothing whatsoever to figure out what it does. You do know that, right? Um, excuse you. <laughs> oh boy. I have been druiding all over these freaking campaign for days. Days. I am exhausted. I am so in tune with nature. You know. That's... And and what about my heel? I have a heel. I stamp my foot on the heel of the boot <laughs> that I found that I just tied. I'm I am, working. I apologize for my outbursts, snacks. You are the supreme mystic among us. I mean, you don't have to go that far. I know that I'm not, but. However, before I sleep, I am going to hit my ritual to take magic. Just to uh, this, just figure out what all's going on in here before we lay our heads down, or I mm. prop against a wall, as it were. <laughs> <laughs> okay, great. Uh, with your ritual to take magic, I mean, once again, the problem is is that everything, all, all eight schools of magic radiate everywhere. Still getting that, huh? 
but um, you you feel a stronger pull from the two potions, uh, obviously, and um, you also feel a slightly stronger pull from uh, the keyhole area of that little chest. Towards the keyhole? Yeah. That, Even though that, the chest is open? Right. I point that out to them. I just, like, with the butt of the sword without having turned it on, like, there's something with the keyhole as well. Uh, like magically? Yes. Um, Perhaps with the key, it can access a different space or something. Uh, uh, okay, well, we'll have to be on the lookout for some magic key. Uh, we'll just take the box with us. Yeah, roughly how big is the box? Is the, bo is the box feasibly carryable? Uh, well, the chest, I mean, it's, it, it was inside of a footlocker. It would, it would fit in your backpack, but it would be pretty bulky. Mm. No room for snacks. Well, I don't <laughs> yeah, want her to go into it. We may not be able to open it again. Yeah, right. <laughs> Pick the lock using snacks. There weren't another just, dimension. I just um, like, you know, uh, <laughs> I, I want, I don't, I don't want to, I don't want a red hair. <laughs> we've already, we've already had one red herring in this, in this adventure. <laughs> Um, you just get the feeling that Grath just rolled so well that maybe she disarmed a magical trap. Without even ah, it. well, then I definitely point that out to Grath. I'm just like, oh, it's rigged here. Oh, you were flawless. You could have been harmed. I think there's a needle or something hidden in there. Oh, well, I didn't even notice. I was so blinded by my disappointment. I, I was blinded by your success. Thank you, Thanatos. I like walk over towards the beds and I just like look at all of them and I just like plop down against the wall. I'll take the first rat watch and the second and the third. <laughs> <laughs> and just sort of lean back against the wall. Like. Uh, right, as right. everyone is tucking in, I just imagine that there's like a table and just a little snacks hand reaches up and grabs the fork that Grath used to open the lock and with the tongs all like gnarled and be like, Magic. <laughs> holds it back down. And I have my bit of treasure. Magic. And I, I grip onto it tightly and curl up into a ball and uh, fall asleep on uh, Thanato's lap as per usual. Absolutely, bring her in, yep. Mm -hmm. All right, so you guys are all gonna take a long rest and we as players are going to take a short rest a 10 minute short rest we'll be back in 10 minutes okay yay yay we'll right back yay. um but uh i will let you guys go take a rest and i'm going to talk about the sponsors really quick so um first of all uh welcome to uh the gax pack everyone this is our little our we're taking a little break but um we are first of all we're on gary con live which is uh sponsored which is brought to you by gary con and um it's an annual game convention celebrating the life and works of gary gygax the father of role-playing games and the co-creator of dungeons and dragons the game that we're playing today um um our big sponsor for today is uh, chaldea and um chaldea is a is based on peter atkinson's dungeons and dragons homebrew campaign um that is he's been doing since 1981 and he is um uh what what they've done is they're making a uh a comic motion graphic of of his adventure that he's now turned into this motion comics uh i've seen the trailer for it it's really great uh, you got to check it out we're going to put the link to the trailer in uh chat uh chaldea our our another sponsor for today is dwarven forge um if you don't know what dwarven forge is you're missing out they make the best terrain for D, &D and for any kind of um role 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 playing tabletop game that you've ever seen you got to check out dwarven forge sirenscape is another sponsor of ours you're listening to them right now uh they're a, a great uh addition to any streaming game or a or game at home just uh put on sirenscape and and become immersed in the world uh that you're trying to play yeah and of course idle champions of the forgotten realms uh a great uh game that you can play that licenses uh characters from dungeons and dragons so that is really fun as well we're really happy 
for them. And if you uh, are here from Idle Champions, we've got a code going. And I think the code is right now, right? So uh, you can get a code for a free chest in the game, an Electrum chest. So I'll be back in about seven minutes and we'll continue our adventure then. Thank you guys so much. Something is out there. It's massive, dangerous, and untamed. Prepare to bravely face Wildlands. Savage new wilderness gaming terrain by Dwarven Forge. Immerse your players in an epic gaming experience like no other. Launching August 9th. The games we play are the stories we create. The fortress doors swing open. Every story is unique. And the sound of war drums rises. Sometimes our stories come to us when we least expect them. We need to be ready no matter where inspiration strikes. And sometimes our stories are told over great distances. No matter where your journey leads you or how your story is told. The games we play are the stories we create. Sirenscape can help make yours epic. Sirenscape is searchable, fast, and customizable from any device with no need to pre-install any sound. Adding epic atmosphere to your game has never been easier.
And we're back, everybody. Welcome back to the Gax Pack. Uh, we just had a long rest. And what I will tell you, uh, Thanato, since you were not only the guardian on the long rest because of your, your um, special powers, you, you gain your spells back. All you have to do is stay inactive, but you're aware of your surroundings the entire time. Mm -hmm. It has... The sun has not moved in the sky at all. It still appears to be noon to you. But did you, you know that time passed. Did you say there was um, tea when we came in on that table? There was on the table. Um, there was um, fruits and nuts and a but jug on the floor at the, one end of the table. There wasn't any tea, but uh, there, there were, there were the the table was set, and um, just sort of snacks on the. Theoretically, is there anything in here that should have been hot or cold? Either one. Mm, no. Okay. All right. So I was gonna like touch it and see if the temperature had changed or not. Okay. Um. Okay. But I don't wake them just for that. But it makes me not like. Um, is there or in, do I have a reasonable expectation of having a candle in my explorer's pack? Oh yeah, absolutely. Once I realize that at around the four hour mark, when I kind of like regain my my wits, I'm gonna light the candle. Okay. And just observe whether or not the candle melts. 
You does try the candle to light the candle light? and you Oh, can't. does the candle light? Yeah. It doesn't. <sighs> <laughs> I would like to know what scent candle the Nacho carries around with him. Oh, it's probably something like verbena and lemongrass because you gave it to me. I oh <laughs> I was going to guess the cinnamon, but <laughs> you but I'm, verbena. I'm more the spoonful of cinnamon than the candle cinnamon. <laughs> it's spicy. Um, All right, I'm back to bed. When when I, I don't, I don't, I observe this, but I don't wake. Um, you know what, though? Every once in a while, I legit am doing the like um, mirror under the nose of an old dog thing. I just make sure they're all breathing. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Once they, oh, no. once, once they go to sleep. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Other than that, I don't disturb them. I will say though, once um once my four hours pass though, I like go to the window and I like look outside. I wanna like if there's like a pattern in the way the birds fly. Um, you know, does it seem like this place is on a loop? You know, um uh, anything like that. No, but um I mean when you yeah, you're, you're looking at the birds flying, um, you know, little woodland creatures come across, across the way, little rabbits, um, squirrels, things of that nature, but nothing appears to be on a loop. Okay. All right. Then I, I don't, I, it's, although because I hate it here, I do wait like eight hours to the minute, like eight hours and 20 seconds when I'm, um, in just from the window without even barely raising my voice i'm just like leaf it's time to wake leaf has been meditating so when you say that his eyes just open <laughs> and very carefully go over to where i've undoubtedly deposited snacks somewhere safe and just like scoop her up a little bit and i'm like come snacks wakey's I am still snoring. I have some <laughs> drool on the side. My giant tongue is on the other side. Like you, you picked me up almost like an accordion. I'm just like, <laughs> <laughs> ah, fine. A few more minutes for snacks. And <laughs> I just hold on to her. Uh, I start to have puppy dreams. She <laughs> 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 well, thinks she's so he it's just true. starts pleasantly humming to himself as he pulls out a few of his small rations and begins to eat. Yep. Mm -hmm. And I wake up Karina and Grath as well, but like yeah. gently, because I know like if we if we wake too quickly, they start throwing hands. That is true. <laughs> really? Yep. Karina <laughs> wakes up just a lot of like limbs akimbo, like huh? Cool. And she's gonna scramble outside. I just wanna. Can I make a roll just right out the gate to figure out what? happened with that thorn whip because i think that's all she's been thinking about sure. while resting. yeah you want to make it sure the moment you all wake up i point out that the sun hasn't moved mm. oh ew i yes. don't like it it's weird time passed my strength is restored and presumably yours as well and yet this place is fixed 16. You, um, you just get the vibe that, like, you just feel the, the power of nature in this place, that it, um, in the same place where, um, when you first got your druid training, for example, and, and you were, and got a glimpse of maybe the great druid, uh, at one or two times in your life, and you just felt that overwhelming feeling of, of druidic energy, right? Mm. That's kind of how you realize now that everything's calmed down and you've had a little time to acclimate to the place. Sort of how you feel like all the time here. You love it. Huh. Now, I know this is going to sound weird because I'm not much of a noon kind of girl, but I do like it here a lot. Hmm. I think this place is cursed. There's something unnatural about it. Okay, you've got a real nasty attitude. What's going on, girl? Look, look. All right, shall we have a little meeting? Mm. That battle out there did not need to happen. And I want to tell you why. <laughs> I didn't, wh what, Karina? What? Oh, no, I just meant like the battle you literally started. Yes, oh. I do believe you shot first, quite I'm the one who shot first in you defense did. of what? Of she didn't, they were about, okay, look, 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 look. Valid. 
I know we've been going across our adventures in a bit of a chaotic sense with no sort of tact, but I think as we approach this this labyrinth thing, we need to approach it with a little bit more tact this time. Leaf, I love how honest you want to be and how good you are, but sometimes when we come across people or creatures, big scary creatures we don't know, Mm -hmm. we can't just disclose the truth because I know you meant to do it, to get across safely, but by disclosing the truth, they're all now dead. We did not need to do that. Do you know that? Huh? Do you know that? I know that there's a possibility that that didn't need to happen. Mm, And we could have just- Possibility. Mm. We could have just told them we were waltzing through, gathering flowers instead. They didn't need to know. We didn't know them. We could have saved so much time. We're wasting so much time and I don't want to spend any more in this unnatural abomination of a paradise. Mm. Okay. okay. Leaf, I... Leaf will lean forward and he gets up and he goes, Grass, you're doing good. You're a fine leader and we're lucky to have you. It's all right to have regrets and it's all right for things to be sloppy. It's all right for mistakes to be made. It doesn't make you any less of a leader. I didn't want and... to kill them. I don't did think I. you made a mistake. Leaf brought her back and they chose death again. This place, it is not a shrine to love, it's a tomb. And I should know. Well, let's just let them entomb themselves. If we don't have to do it, let's just try to avoid it. She was going to shoot. You did what you had to do. And I, for one, commend you for it. Then tell Karina that. I don't think Karina had any problem with your actions. Do you? Only the story that you told after. That part. Look, I'm fine for violence or non-violence in equal turn. I also tried not to harm them. They made their choice. But I don't like being yelled at. I don't like yelling. I don't I... like anything but the four of you. Oh. I wake up suddenly, jump to my feet, and throw my paws up. I guess learn with What? What? <sighs> Pleasant dreams, uh. <laughs> what was up with the whip? It seemed like longer and Yeah. I said I like this place. And mm-hmm. I will remind you all that I am a druid. This is a place of power for me. <laughs> but it is a place of no stars. Well, couldn't be perfect, could it? What do the heavens look like over your head? Do they reflect what they were before? Yeah, I want to open up my umbrella. Now, on the inside of the umbrella, it should always show the night sky version of this place. What does it show on the inside? Oh, um, it shows stars that, um, you, you recognize them as the stars that you would recognize when you were on Greyhawk. Mm. Um, so that part seems normal to you. Um, although they, it seems like they're in slightly different positions than you remember when you were at the the governor's ball mm. the governor's dinner uh, um, i hand the the umbrella graph hold this up and i like start pulling out a bunch of like star charts i this is my like cartography thing that she does and starts like lining things up like this doesn't actually line up right we should be able to know how much time has passed based on their alignments, correct? Yeah, how much time has passed? Can I make a roll to know how much time has passed? Yeah, make a roll, please. (laughs) Oh boy. Uh, Nature and survival. Oh no, there is no nature. No, there is nature. Is it nature 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 or survival? survival. You wanna do nature? I would think. All right. Uh, 15. You 
feel oddly like a a year has passed. Okay, here's the oh, thing. No. I'm gonna say an answer, and you're not gonna believe me. What? Welcome to the yeah. Hold on, and she goes back and starts like measuring it out again, and like checking all of her math again, and like three minutes later, okay, um, a year though. What did you say? Um, a year. A year has passed. Hmm. Yes. An entire year. Are you sure? Please double check I, these charts. I. Okay, you did just see me do the math again, so now I feel like you're being mean. <laughs> I just want to be sure. I just. It, no, I know. I'll do it again. It's impossible. If she it's said impossible. it's a year, it's a year. No, 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 no. This cannot have happened. An it's entire me. year. What? What is time? It, it's fine. It's a, it's a construct. Yes, I mean we it's are. Not a construct for some. Long lived, I think. And I kind of look at L Lee for a second, and then look at Snacks. I think. Do I look taller? <laughs> Yes. Yes. Hmm. I like this place as well. <laughs> Can so... I insight check Graf? Uh, sure. She feels very panicky about this. <laughs> I don't know why I decided to hit it on that. All right, that's fine. 15. Um, and what are you trying to what are you trying to determine? I mean, Graf seems a little high strung all the time, mm -hmm. but seems very upset about losing time specifically. Right. Um, with a 15, I mean, in le unless Graf has, um, I, I think, I think it, it more deals with Graf's, uh, ability to kind of want to be the leader and in control and not, and not necessarily, um, a, uh, there, there, there was something re re relating to her origin story, to her backstory that has to do with time. So, um, there will be a certain amount of time that she needs to get back to do something. So, a year. That's kind of, that's what's freaking her out because there's other things going on in her life that if a year really has passed, uh, would not be good. Karina kind of narrows her eyes at Graf and gives like a small nod and lets it go. Thank you. Well, just to make sure we're not really um losing sight of what we're supposed to be doing, we're supposed to find those two kids that are apparently in some sort of palace that we've been told twice is here and others seem to be able to perceive, but we can't. We've also been told to drink the water, which quite frankly seems like a terrible idea, but may be necessary to open our eyes. Sweet. Uh, Snacks, can I just see that amulet, your amulet, one more time? I just want to double check. I, I hold it out, but don't take it off. Like, That's mm -hmm. fair. Can I give it one more look now that we're in, like we're in the actual garden? Yeah, give it another you're, look. You're gonna have to like lean way down. I mean, I'm gonna just kind of, if you let me, I'm just gonna scoop her up. Am I coming up? up. Oh, yeah. yeah <laughs> just, I'll just bring you in close. That seems honestly easier for me. Uh, tireless precision. That's another three. Uh, 24. You... Were you rolling to pick me up? Because you nailed it. No. <laughs> <laughs> that is some there, solid picking up. The amulet, that amulet had um, a, it was a gold amulet with with the sort of in relief a a tree blowing in the wind. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, was the was the picture on it? You get the feeling that it almost certainly is will help someone predict the weather. And the reason that no one's picked up on this so far because the there's no weather perfect and it's noon on a perfect summer day forever <clears throat> okay and i just kind of gently put snacks back down i got it you, did you tell me any of that uh no i was gonna save it to to tell you later oh, all right i like not knowing all right go not trying to put you on druid blast in front of the group <laughs> I, I just 
I look at the necklace and I look at you and with this new like druid sense of stoic nature, I just go, I hope you found what you were looking for. And then I just kind of like lean back and my back leg just starts like scratching. <sighs> While you start scratching, I, I do want to just make like a little like puff, like a, like just some leaves that kind of like drift in and past your face as you do it. Like, oh, such a druid. Oh, I even have to be careful with that. My powers are growing every day. Oh God, I'm so itchy though. It's so dry here. <laughs> it's a dry heat, yes. Yes. Are we ready to move then? Eve is just sitting in the corner watching everyone because this, when when everyone woke up, immediately the emotional tone of the room spiked and he could see the conflict. But of course, it took all of three minutes for everyone to be in like family. And so Leaf <laughs> is just, he doesn't say anything, but he's just been watching kind of knowingly this whole time is expecting this rise and fall. And even, even like side eyeing Thanato a little bit as Thanato has allowed himself to reveal more of the tender boy that's underneath the dark moody emo kid. And so Leaf is just kind he of- Flips his hair. Under. No, and it isn't. When there's, when, when the question gets asked if we're ready to go yet, and there's that moment where Leaf just kind of kicks back in the corner and just smiling at everybody. Doesn't say anything. <laughs> just kind of knowingly looks at everyone. Oh, hold on. I just want to see if I perceive. No, I don't notice you doing that. Dang it. <laughs> Smug smile on his face. I mean, from Thamnato's perspective, I'm like, she she lit up somebody that had it coming. I get you feel bad about it. I don't understand it, but that's cool. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> I was asleep for half of it, and when I woke up, we were family again, so I'm fine. <laughs> yeah. Snacks is like, I did it. You're welcome, hey, everyone. I Centaurs, came to party. Centaurs played stupid games and yeah. won <laughs> stupid prizes. <laughs> Centaurs and yep. satyrs. And satyrs. Yeah. That's yep. true. So uh, hearing that we are going to leave soon, uh, I run outside first with a, a sense of that I got to do something. So I, I run outside. Next, when you run outside, you hear, hey, save me, save me. I listen to the amulet. You don't hear anything. I listen to my boot. You don't hear anything. I listen to the fork. Nothing. Oh, come on. Where are you? Oh, I'm sorry. I forgot the magic word. Marco. Hey, psst, I'm over here. Oh, you're supposed to say Polo. Uh, I so, listen and try to find. You... Off to the south, you see a strange collection of trees, and you feel like it's coming from that direction. Uh, with absolutely no regard for my own safety, I take off running. Yeah, that sounds about right. Yeah, there we go. Great. Uh, and you see, um, here, uh, maybe I can send this just to you. I might be able to before everyone else does. In, in my head, I hear a... I'm going to show you what you see, what you're running towards. Um, It may just go to you, hopefully. Yeah, we don't see it. You're good. Okay, good. Yeah, so you see a, okay. a really right. weird collection of, of trees off to the south. They don't they don't look that normal to you, but I mean nothing's normal to you in this garden. So mm -hmm. um to snacks, they're just weird looking trees. Uh I step up to the tree. Does it in the drawing, there's a sword stuck in it. Is there a sword stuck in it? There's actually the... an axe stuck in it. I I step up to the tree. I know that no one else can see this tree. This is a shapely tree. So I kind of graze my hand over it and be like, are you talking to me because I am now a druid? Is this what being a druid is? Yeah. No, down here. And it's actually oh. the axe you realize the sound is coming from the ax that's stuck oh. in the tree. Oh no, this is what it's like to be a barbarian. This is... Sorry, I forgot. So <laughs> tell me about your, tell me about your, as a barbarian, what is your, do you have resistances to surprise? 
anything like that? Uh, I, oh gosh, I do. If we, oh, uh, I have to find. She's a danger and she has advantage on the save. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. Yeah. It doesn't. It doesn't make her um, immune to surprise. Immune to surprise. Um, okay. So there was something else that I unlocked at. Uh, was that what I unlocked at seventh level? Mm -hmm. Maybe. Oh uh, no, that I don't know. You gotta. <laughs> There's My a lot of things to look through. I believe it was like, if we go into um, uh, initiative, uh, I cannot be surprised or like I get a- Oh, be well, that's feral, feral, feral instinct. Um, uh, feral instinct is the thing. Uh, yes, it is. God, you are really good at this. You know, this inside and out. <laughs> uh, I have advantage on initiative rolls if uh, I am going to be surprised at the beginning of combat, but not incapacitated. You can act normally on your first turn if you enter a rage before you do anything else. Okay, gotcha. Well, basically, when you went over to stroke the tree, Giggity. Uh, these two creatures jumped out of the tree. Um, that They sort of look like smaller trees. Twigs? I got to jump by they twigs? Look like, they, look, they look like um, they're about two feet wide by three feet tall, and they're just these odd it, it looks like a tree bark has come to life and they're attacking you so uh oh since God. you can't be surprised roll for initiative i'm just now, the I'm rest of you are still inside i'm remembering that line in the uh in that yoda sing-along uh <laughs> the, the the bad lip reading <laughs> uh, oh, stop it now. Yeah. he moves the log over and sees a stick underneath and he's like that log had a child that log had a child that's kind of what it's tiny little stick <laughs> oh my okay oh thank goodness who i am glad that i have initiative uh advantage because that was uh very bad uh i handed up at a high point getting a nine mm -hmm. okay um they're 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 gonna make the first move then on you um now i have that song blasting in my seagulls head. yeah sorry <laughs> thought that beast i i know every word so the first one so yeah you really feel like you're being attacked by a living bark like you don't see a head you don't you you sort of see a a bunch of burrs coming off of this weird stumpy thing um but it it's they're both launching themselves at you from the top of the tree okay um how so, like how like wide are these things they're they're about two feet wide oh no three feet long wide yeah these are beefy sticks. I was <laughs> yeah, it's not really a stick. It's like it's like a. It's They're like more a, like logs. A, a trunk. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, I mean, basically, you're getting attacked. Yeah. You're getting attacked by two logs. For for oh, uh, other log, it's it's better than bad. It's good. Yep. That, I was waiting for it. I was waiting for it. I was really excited because I was going to try to uh, bite one and take it back for fetch, but um, I can't get my mouth around that. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and we're moving on. <laughs> uh, uh, right, um, okay, so uh, the first yeah. one totally misses you and falls to the ground. Uh, Jeez. Okay. The second one um, hits and has attached itself to you. I know okay. this is like a theme, but that's what this but much like the mud monsters. Uh, uh, but, so so what does what do these logs attacking me look like is this like a like a sweeping slapping motion or are they just well like, no they're actually... both they're both launch themselves at you Got from it. out of that strange looking tree okay and one launched itself at you and hit the ground missed and the other one launched itself at you and hit you and is attached to you now <laughs> okay i look at the one that hit the ground like <gasps> oh no <laughs> <laughs> Um, all right. Uh, <laughs> so I'm going to, but you don't feel any damage yet. Okay. I just have uh, a log clinging to you me. You just have a log clinging to you. All right. Am I, am I grappled or? No, no it's, just, you're, you, it's you're hanging on. Move. Me. It's just, it's just this weird log thing is as attached to you kind of like, uh, you know, um, an alien, um, type of situation, but not on your face. 
sort of like in an area, a weak point of your armor, maybe like. Wow, you, know, you really you know, are a mighty droid. I mean, trees are literally throwing themselves at you at this point. <laughs> uh, they recognize their own. Uh, so I am going to look around in an absolute panic because nobody else is here. And Snacks does not do well on her own. Uh, like an absolute panic attack. Um, she is going to uh, just freak out and completely forgets that she even has her own axe and just grabs the first one that she sees, which is stuck in the tree. Can I pull mm. it out? Um, can you make me a strength check? Yes. Oof, a 10. Um, you can't, it, you were unsuccessful to pull it out. Okay. Wait, you're a barbarian. Don't you have advantage? Oh, wait, I have advantage. advantage. You're raging. You're raging. You're, if you're raging. Oh, wait, I'm not raging. Yeah, you're not raging. Yeah, I didn't get a chance to rage yet. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and I wouldn't rage. I'm, I'm panicked. Um, mm. Okay, well, I, I try to pull the axe out and it doesn't work. So uh, because I'm not thinking straight, I'm instead going to throw myself into the axe. Like, oh. I'm going to try to. Oh, uh, like, uh, okay. Yeah. Like, I can't get it out, so I'm just kind of, I'm just going to push it on. I don't know what to roll for that, but that's what I want to do. Um, I guess you could make another strength check for me. Sure. But what are you trying to do with that? You're just trying I to- I am trying to use the, is, is the axe two-sided? It's a two-sided axe, yes. Yeah, so, yeah, one so like side one is side in. is put in, so it's got the other blade out. And I tried mm -hmm. to pull it out and couldn't get it, so I'm going to use that exposed blade to try to like- like shimmy the log monster off. off of you yeah okay uh so that, that was a 13 that i rolled i would say that yes yeah i mean that was more of a dex check actually um okay i mean yeah we'll, we'll just say 13 um it it it's still latched on to you okay does that count as an attack i guess because uh, i get two attacks it counts as an action and and your within your action you have two attacks so really that that's really your action right there all right uh well then uh trying to grab the axe pull it and then slam yourself onto it that's that's a full action in my opinion okay give me uh just one second if you wouldn't mind Dang, that's a full action. All right, uh, as a, a bonus action, I am going to release the biggest panicked screech that I absolutely can. <laughs> okay. I'm not gonna do it, I will blow this out, but imagine in the theater of the mind, just like head back, I've got a stick on me, my tongue is up, like <laughs> <laughs> The rest of you 100% recognize that screech You've heard it before in your travels. You know that Snacks is in trouble. Okay. Snacks. Yeah, we It's safe to out. say that Gaxpack comes storming out, ready to kill and knife and maim and destroy anybody who's messing with our snacks. Does yeah. that mean we get to enter initiative now? You do. You get, you. I would like the rest of you to to, um, to roll initiative. We are about we? to witness okay. what it looks like when a stick dies. Show the rest <laughs> of you. <laughs> snacks. So now this is not this is not the monster, the bark monster, but this is what the bark monster jumped out of. This is a very weird looking tree. And Karina, if you want to make a, as as a free action hey. from me, you can make a nature check. Yes, thank you. Natural twenty. Hey. Whoa. Okay, great. I will Ooh. tell you exactly what you think you see, and you are certain with that natural 20 that those are tree that those are trees that are the product of a bark burr and you can only imagine that she's being attacked by bark burrs and um you would know from just when you were studying to be a druid and reading some bizarre text that you never thought that you would ever run across these things what you remember is that the tr is that those trees must have been the bark burrs victims that those aren't real trees that 
bark burrs turn people into trees Ooh. when they attack them. So if you hear Snack screaming and she's by one of those things, chances are she's being attacked by a bark burr. Okay, okay. Uh, I just growl me. bark burr under my breath. As soon as I see uh, Karina, like as I'm holding this thing, be like, be a dragon is hard! Mm-hmm. Uh, my initiative, by the way, was 16. 19 for me. 17 for me. Mine was 13. So, oh, yeah. yeah, 17. Okay. Great. Um, it is right now, it's still the monster's turn. And um, Snacks, I need you to make a constitution save. I'm gonna punch a tree. <laughs> now, uh, the audience can really help her if she makes a bad save. Um, I which she did. What if I made the worst save? Oh, no. Oh. You could. We have one fate point left. I would let you uh, I use one. that fate point to reroll. I, I would like to. I would like the point, please. I would like the reroll. Okay. I'm not you guys are down to zero fate points right now. So audience, if you want to help help them out, uh, they can I rolled a one. Situation. Oh. All right. Oh. Um, like, so... check it. I, I rolled a one twice. Nice. That die said, I said wow. one. Being right. a druid is you really hard. It's tough. It's tough. Yeah, give me, we, should, um, we, should all, we should all show a little more appreciation to Abria for <laughs> the job that she performs. We Jason, am I dead? Yeah. Yes. No, you're not dead. You're not dead, um, but Just on the you feel like you, you all of a sudden your arm uh, where the where this bark burr is, uh, it's starting to go numb, like something you feel like something is not right. Um, and you really start to feel on the left side, of your, the left side of your whole body. Guys, my paw feels weird. I've got you. In a little bit, because yeah, yeah. Fanato so just runs really fast. Fanato's turn. <laughs> so Fanato, what you see, what you see in front of you, and she. So it's going to take you guys your both your movement action and an action to get there. Um, so if any of you want to engage in there, she, she ran to this area, mm -hmm. uh, of, from the South. So it's at least 60 feet away. Um, depending on what your, what okay. Your movement is. In which case. Yeah. So, uh, I mean, I don't know where, where are we in the initiative round right now? Okay. The not, you're the right now it's my turn. turn. Okay. Uh, I'm going to gonna... point out that chat came through. All right, yeah. we got another. We got another. Thank you, Chad. Thank you, Chad. Yeah. Right. Thank you, Chad. Hashtag Which Chad. could help her next round. She can't. She can't do another reroll. But next round, if, for example, she needed to make another Constitution save, I'm not saying that she would need to. Or not, <laughs> but if, for example, she needed to, the Fate Point would help her uh, if she needed to reroll. Then I have a bad case of the claw. <laughs> <laughs> <No>. uh, <laughs> uh, I'm going to. Um, pull up my my spirit shroud again mm -hmm. um this time it is going to be cold damage that i'm going to put on these things okay, uh cool. it, but i am going to run it's just like these freezing spirits start like coalescing around me i'm just like <laughs> coming for her yeah, yeah. <laughs> move and dash to to get over to her yep and that's it I bet you didn't know that uh, Thanato actually ran track in high school. It's true. It's true. Yeah. Oh, wow. It's, uh, you know, Menzo Branson <laughs> State. Yeah. <laughs> Menzo yeah. Branson State. Yeah. That's great. Um, and that, that, is, that is, I mean, I, I got to. Not to be, gonna... I mean, you know, and Menzo Branson and Tech, I mean, you know, <laughs> screw them. That's <laughs> true. Screw Menzo Branson yeah. and Tech. And, and then Menzo Branson A and M. <laughs> Which, let's be honest, Drow would really feel that way. They're like, no, screw them in particular. <laughs> right. <laughs> Those kids at Tech. Yeah. Although the sixty feet will get me to them, um, but I can't do anything once I get there. So you're there. And here's what you notice, though. You notice 
that the um the the bark the bark monster in your opinion uh you see one on the ground and it almost feels like it's a turtle uh it, it's doing the same sort of action that a turtle would do if it was on its back like it seems like it's flailing about <laughs> and isn't really in control of its actions but you do see the uh the other bark monster really attached there to snacks yep that's it well, that's, uh, I, I get right up to it but uh, other than that i'm just like we're coming snacks uh, and that's it uh karina how about you okay just as a point of clarification the bark burr is the thing that fell off or the tree the bark burr are the are the things that fell off the tree only because you rolled that natural 20. the yeah. tree is a product of what the bark burr will do to people Got it. Okay. Just clarifying. Uh, so I move 30 feet and with my action, I want to point at the bark burr on, uh, on snacks mm -hmm. and cast blight. Ooh, okay, great. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Cool. So I need a constitution saving throw with disadvantage for the plant monster. What's it trying to beat? Uh, it needs to be a uh, 15. Okay. Blight on a plant monster. Yeah. That's like power or kill. We love to yeah. see it. Yeah. Yes. That's not, uh, it's not going to make that. That's Sweet. for sure. So it's going to take max damage, which is 64 points of necrotic damage. Yeah. Wow. wow. I'm telling you, blight on a plant monster. That's game. That's... Yeah. Uh, <laughs> the snacks, the crazy tree monster that's on you, uh, it basically just explodes yeah around you into like basically sawdust so now there's just sawdust floating in the air oh uh i it's look doing. at that and i look at karina and i go did you know that bark is a composite of hollow needle-like cellulose fibers and they're bound together with this chemical glue and in many ways it is as strong as steel a piece 12 inches long uh vertically can hold as much as 20 tons so that was really powerful snack facts we all turn immediately look at the camera and go snack facts yeah <laughs> And then go right back into the battle. Uh, Karina oh. is, by the way, she's just like murmuring in Druidic, and I think it's just sort of echoing around mm -hmm. as like vines and stuff are like moving toward her. Perfect. I said that as you were looking like that. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> by the way, big thank you to Naqua23, who just keeps gifting subs and gifting thank subs. You. And gifting subs. Like, I can't, I, I can't not say something. It's just all over the place. So thank you. Um, Okay, so it, do you have any other action, Karina? Uh, bonus action, yeah, I'll go into my wild shape and right. uh, go into starry form with the archer. And nice. I wanna send my bonus action uh, arrow into the bark burr on the ground. Excellent. Uh, which is a 26 to hit. Oh, that hits. Ooh, bad damage. Uh, it's seven points of damage. <laughs> okay. All right. That one's still alive, but it's still uh, wriggling around on the ground like it doesn't know what the heck's going going well, on. I don't know if it can understand, but in Druidic, I say, if you get one inch closer to snacks, I will burn this entire garden to the ground. I'm not exactly sure what she said, but I try to mimic it as close as possible, saying it as threatening, leaving like, it, it ends up just sounding like I'm talking like a sim. Like, a food, a food, a food. just simlish. Go to yeah. <laughs> simlish. Uh, all right. Uh, Leaf, what are you going to do? All right. So there's still one left, right? Yeah. But it's sort of, you. I don't know. You get the feeling that it's it's not it's crawling around or something. You're not sure what's it, happening. Does it does it all right, let me let me ask this. Does it look like it's still in combat or is this thing taking its warning? Um no, I mean you feel like it you feel like you're still in combat. Okay. Well then I'm gonna spin a point of key and double my movement and use step of the wind and clear 90 feet worth yeah. of movement. <laughs> and so Leaf just becomes a blur of action and launches himself forward. And uh, when I get to uh, standing kind of right next to Thanato at that point, I'm going to just beat the living hell out of this thing. Okay, great. Yeah. 
Yeah, uh, and what you do notice when you get close to it is that this side of the the underside of this bark burr, uh -huh. this bark monster to you, is like it's like its belly is exposed or something. Like it, there's no bark on that part. So it's a okay. lighter, it's a lighter uh, wood color. Well, chips are going to fly as Leaf unleashes a flurry of blows on this thing. Uh, so I'll go ahead and make my four attacks. Let me just burn that Please. one extra point of key. Making mulch. Okay, let's mulch it. Oh, I'm rolling shit, but that's 11, so that's going to be a miss, I'm sure. That, that second attack good. is 14. Does that hit? That hits. Okay, so that's one hit. Uh, and the second one is a 16, so that's going to be a hit. And the last attack is a, that's going to be a miss, an 11. So uh, so two hits, is that right? Yeah, two hits two all hits. together. All right. Um, okay, so let me roll damage on that. That is going to be, this is another strike, so bam. So lay punch, that is max damage. So the next one is <laughs> the least amount of damage. So let's see, that's 15. And then, uh, yeah, so I'll just do, I'm not going to keep burning my key. I'll just do 15 points of damage, multiple attacks. Okay. Bare fisting that, smashing, cracking, bashing. A lot of bark goes flying, uh, but the thing's still alive, and it's like hissing at you now. You don't know from where. You can't see or tell where the hissing coming from, but it's hissing at you. Okay. Sounds you good. Still... That's my action. Yeah. Leaf just flies up there and pulls an Ip Man on this thing and just goes, <laughs> it's like massive, like quick firing strikes. Uh, Graph, it's your turn. But you're still oh. 60 feet away. So you need to, if you can run up 30 and take a. I think my longbow, like I'm running towards it, but my longbow has 150 uh, range. Yeah. So I'm going to cast uh, Hunter's Mark on the little plant blight what are they called again the, the park bark burr. Burr. bark burr yeah the bark burr on bark uh, burr. snacks and i just like yell leave my friend alone and just try uh, to the one on arrow. snacks is gone oh yeah yeah oh it's brown. It's the I the brown. Brown. away yeah. from her you tree <laughs> yes the <laughs> one that's quite. still are there any still alive like there? the one that's still alive right yeah, yeah the, the one, one on, on the, the ground. ground the one that's on the ground i just like and i try but to it... aim towards that like light colored bark Ooh, and I got a it, really it, dirty it, it, it will be disadvantage if it's prone, though, and you're shooting with a bow. Oh. The delicate yep. inner part is called the phloem. It only lives it for a short well, time. The let's ask this. It's Real three, quick, Jason, is this a large creature, or is it medium yeah. size? It's it's three feet tall oh. by two feet wide. Never mind. So. Yeah, it's going to get, okay. So you're going to have to advantage with that. Literally a log. Huge. Well, I got a, a very dirty 20. At disadvantage, though? All the things. Uh, oh, at disadvantage. Wait, I did. Yeah, okay, hold sorry. on. Otra vez. Um, you know what? Let's do it the traditional way because DD uh, &D Beyond is kind of freezing it's for slow. me. So. Slow today. Oh, my Lord. It was either a nine or an eight. So I guess I'll take the eight, huh? Yeah, that so that's going to, you're going to miss. Okay, yeah, I guess like, like Wrath is still a little. You've got another you've got another attack though, I believe, right? Oh, okay. All right, one more. I believe it was plus nine, actually. So technically that eight would have been a 17. 17. Oh, because okay. that's like then my deck stuff. Well, that will definitely hit the underside. There we go. Okay, all right, all right. Now the first hit. Whew. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Well, it's only a two, but you know, I'll take it. Perfect. A two, a two points of damage? Okay. Yeah, just two points of damage. All right. Uh, snacks, it's your turn. Uh, Wait, did you do your second attack? Wait, no, yeah. Second attack? Uh, what? Okay. With disadvantage, oh, right? right? Okay. Right. Okay, you do it. Thank you. Sorry, I thought that was the second attack. Let's do it. No worries. Continue. Disadvantage, correct? Disadvantage. Still? Okay. Still. Oh, wow. It's eight again. All right, cool. So. Same exact thing, it, I believe. 17? It yeah, that's yeah. it. What? Yes! Thank you so much. Eight plus... Eight? Wait, wait, wait. It's like, it's doing the math. Eight plus four, 12. All right, 12 damage now. Okay. Like... <laughs> yeah, that thing's full of arrows. 
It's not looking good. It's squirming more and hissing. Squirming and hissing. Snacks, it's right below your feet. Uh, am I still like, you know? Yeah, you don't, it, you you're, you feel stiff. Like there, nothing's happened yet, but you, you feel stiff, but you still feel like, you know, it's like you've got a sore arm, but you could still attack. Yeah, I mean, I told you, I had this thing with my shoulder. I have to warm it up. Um, <laughs> uh, so yeah, suddenly seeing all of my friends around, I'm feeling a little bit better, but I, I'm still just panicked from everything. And uh, I'm gonna try to grab that ax again and pull it out. Um, okay, make me a strength check. <sighs> that is a 10 again. Okay, can I use one of our points to roll it again? Sure, you can use a fate point to roll it again. Yes, yes. Yes. Since it's not I'm combat a barbarian, on the roll something. An eleven. <laughs> nope. Are you raging or no? And you still can't get the axe out. Dang. Are you raging or no? I I wasn't, and I oh, didn't okay. think that I would because, oh. well. Got it. Uh, That's you know, what? I'm gonna I'm gonna use one more point. Well, no, you can't make another roll. Oh, can't? You can't. You can't do another. If that's your action, I'm, I I would only let you do another re-roll uh, the next time through. Mm. Okay. All right. Well, um, then, so uh, pulling that out was an action. So do I get one attack with it, or you didn't get it? Barbarian or... problems. No. Okay. So. Wait. What did you say, Wait. Dave? No. I sorry. I thought she didn't even get the axe out of the tree. So okay. I didn't. Right. You didn't get the axe out of the tree, and that was trying to pull that axe out of the tree would be your action would be your action yeah the attack action lets you hit twice but it is an action so trying to get the axe was an action i figured okay well then i'm just going to uh cling on to the axe and <laughs> i picture it like in the tree and i just kind of like lean back on it and once again eyes wide tongue in the air and i'm just screaming both in like panic and fury and frustration I can't just, ah! and you hear in your head what are you doing i thought that it was the sticks talking and this is the weirdest version of the giving tree <laughs> ever <laughs> i i squeeze the handle of the axe a little you like that Hey, it feels pretty good. Ooh, that. <laughs> and, and I hear this in my head. You only hear it in your head. No one else hears it. This is the worst gift you've ever given me. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, um, then I'm just going to sit there and stare at the axe, having a, a mental conversation with it while battle happens around me, I guess. Okay. The, um, the, the monster tries is tries to crawl towards uh leaf and okay. um but it's you just get the feeling that like once again turtle on the back it's trying to move itself over but but that's about it and and thanato you can you can take your action i need a wisdom 14 save Against it? What are you? What are you doing? Uh, it's wisdom fourteen against toll the dead. Oh, okay, yeah, it it fails. It doesn't have. Uh, well, that... but it doesn't have intelligence either, so I don't know if that. It doesn't need intelligence for toll the dead, though. Okay, great. Yeah, because it works on zombies. Hey. Yeah. Um. Uh, it is necrotic damage. If for some reason it is uh, immune to necrotic. No. Or susceptible. Uh, or susceptible. Uh, otherwise, I'm gonna drop twenty five on it. <laughs> oh. Once again, uh you took it to the wood chipper <laughs> and uh th that thing is done. So here so here's what you guys all see. You see 19 of those crazy looking trees. Oh, good god. All all in front of you. Um we don't want that fight. <laughs> but snacks, you still hear in your head like are you going to try to pull me out of here or not like i literally am holding on to it with my two back paws on the tree like <laughs> i give her guidance you can do it mm. does anybody else want to help her uh i mean i'm trying to understand what she's doing because we don't hear the voice of this axe speaking correct 
but you see an axe no. in a tree. I would sure. definitely be trying to pull an axe out of a tree. Sure, but so now actually to... in, so not in your heads, but all of you here coming from the axe. Hey, get me out of here already. Mm, Lippy cursed the blade, axe. leave it. Your ears. Did you all hear that too? Yep. Leap is squinting like, did I hear that? <laughs> He's kind of like questioning himself for a moment. <laughs> Do I see any more bark burrs or just like a forest of their victims? Yeah, you don't see any more bark burrs. Cool. I'm I'm going to roll. The trees Start. are far enough away from each other that even if there was a bark burr, you feel fairly, knowing what you know about bark burrs, you feel confident that they wouldn't be able to reach you. Mm. Okay. Uh, I'm going to roll strength one more time to see if I can't get it out. And if I can't get it out, I'm taking my own ax to this tree to dig this thing out. Just okay. so we're clear. Let's see. Let's see. So I pull out my ax. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. I, I rolled it too. Okay. Wow. <laughs> so uh, I, yeah, I would say that between the five of you and you hacking it out, you could get this thing out. Okay. I mean, uh, Le Leaf looks kind of Leaf looks kind of un uncertain and looks at everybody and goes, oh, "Are we doing that? Is that what we're doing?" I it, like I am just like lumberjacking my axe into like underneath the axe, like like using it, like just get, oh, yeah. Let, yeah. let's just get this thing out of the tree. I I, I there's some going on here. Mm. I I actually have my axe stuck in the tree and I am jumping on my axe's handle. And then kink to knock it out. If that's oh. okay. Okay. Yeah. All right. And um, then I scramble to grab the ax. You're able to get it out of the tree. And when you pull it out of the tree, all of you hear, hear the ax go, ah, finally. <laughs> <laughs> Sword comes on. <laughs> hey, 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 come on. No, there's no need to do that. So, Snacks, you take a look at this axe, and um, it's the blade. It's a double. It's a double-headed um, battle axe. Mm -hmm. um, you're very familiar with how to use them. Um, the blade is black. The handle's black, but the um, the grip is multicolored, like uh, all really bright colors on the grip. And and uh, as you look closer at the at the just the blade edges, mm -hmm. very fine. You notice that those are also multicolored. So each edge, um, it's very slight, but the edges are multicolored too. Oh, it's like mm -hmm. pastel goth. Right. <laughs> and um, do any of you speak or read Abyssal? Uh, uh, yes, I do. I'll, I'll, I'll check just to make sure, but I'm pretty sure that's a big no. No, I do not. But hey, do you ever the need to do the Nato does too. Yeah. Orc? The Nato and Grath both do. Ooh, the edgy ones. Of course they do. Coming Irrelevant to my so, interests. Uh, potatoes. <laughs> you, you notice something is probably written in Abyssal on it. <laughs> um, but uh, right. snacks would need to like, you know, show it to you. Uh, Snacks, can we take a closer look at this? I am way? standing over the axe, holding on to it, as if I'm like choking it, like pushing it into the ground, being like, "You would send these freaking sticks after me! How dare you!" Mm. Oh, mm, uh, Thanato, can you calm her down a little bit? I'm. Uh, I think this is her at her most. Authentic, but um, snacks. Can we read what's written on the axe, please? Oh, yeah, sure. Yeah. So, written on the axe in abyssal, uh, you see the words hacker, harbinger of hijinks. Snacks is a cursed axe, leave it. But I found it. <laughs> Help me. I. I'm like, could you just put it on the ground for just just a moment? Just I just want to talk to it, just a moment. 
Snacks using the ancient language. If I found it, it came to me. <laughs> Again, the ancient law of finders keepers, as Brother Uriah pointed out. All the very I, warning signs. I put my foot on the axe and I turn the sword on and I say, I know you can hear me. Everything in this place has been terrible. If you try any of your hijinks on my friend, I will cut you in half. Burn the shaft of your axe and bury the axe head somewhere. No one will ever find it. Do you understand? Take it easy. Do I'm... you understand? I understand, but you gotta understand. My... I'm not from here. I agree with you. This place is crazy. My former owner came here and now he's a friggin' tree. Okay? Mm. That doesn't say much about you as a weapon. And I take my foot off of it where she can pick it. Hey, listen. Yeah, I was like, I had like my paws on your foot, like being like, oh, Keenan. Hey. <laughs> every, every, every bad craftsman blames, blames his tools, right? Look, my, the, my former owner was a terrible fighter. All right. It doesn't it mean was... that I'm a bad axe. It just means he was a bad fighter. I'm a great axe. I got all sorts of powers. I'm awesome. I'm a good fighter. I know you're a good fighter. I mean, like, don't tell. take what you just saw as any indication. I'm, I just woke well, up. Well, you got, you got potential. I got the thing with my shoulder. I had to warm up, and I'm kind of like doing a druid thing right now, not really a barbarian thing. But I promise I'm a good fighter. <laughs> Snacks, time and time again, you have shown yourself to be one of the greatest fighters I've ever seen. See? Do you see? Grad gave me a good review. That's right. She yelped that review so loud. It was very good. Well, either way, like... you're stuck with me now. And what you notice is that uh, even though your foot was on the axe head, Thanato, all of a sudden it's back in Snacks' hand. Oh, boy. <laughs> <sighs> I look at Karina and I'm like, we may have to cut her arm off if this becomes a problem. <laughs> oh, Karina's not even looking at you. She's moved over to the tree that that was in and is like grabbing a branch and making like little dark blue, like flowers blossom on it and just says <laughs> under her breath in Druidic, this garden is mine. Rena, actually, um, when you, uh, is it the same tree or a different tree? Same tree. Um, you also, can you make a perception check for me? Yeah. I think it, while all this is happening real quick, Leaf will just mutter, this place is very distracting. 18. Mm. Agreed, Leaf. 18. Mm -hmm. You actually notice that um, on one of the highest branches of the tree, there's a there's a necklace hanging from it. <laughs> thorn whip. It just keeps great. Going. You grab it with the thorn whip. Um, perfect. It is. Hang on. <laughs> Get back to it. Where are you? One second. This is all. I like this place. We it's should stay. <laughs> 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 there will be no consequences to any of this. <laughs> I hate it here so much. I'd like to leave as soon as possible. Oh, it's a um it's a black opal pendant on a Ooh. gold chain. It doesn't feel it doesn't radiate magic necessarily. Um it just feels like it's just a really nice necklace. It belongs just to radiates pimp status. Okay. Yeah. Hey. It drips. It is literally it just it drips, drips. It's a Gucci. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, it has necklace. GC on it. No, I mean, mm -hmm. it just looks really nice. Uh, I'm going to toss it to Graf. Oh. Okay. Thanks, Karina. I... What, is, what is this? What does it do? What, it's, just a, it's just a necklace? It's beautiful and valuable. Yes. Just like you. Oh. He doesn't say that mockingly. He literally just says, oh. oh, oh God. Thank you. So, uh, snacks? the the axe starts talking to the snacks. So, uh, what's your name? Your Majesty. <laughs> well, that's your title. Well, what's your name? Majesty Snacks. Hey. How's it going, Snacks? I, I'm I hacker. Take hacker. Um, it has like the the you know the blades and the thing and i take the blades and i turn it to its side and grab the handle and like pretend that i'm shaking its hand like hello hacker it is very nice to meet you um well while this conversation is happening and just off to the side uh leaf is going to lean over to grath and say 
uh, just kind of watching all of this and just say, I'm not saying this to make you an anxious, Graf, but judging from the conversations we had last night, it's safe to say that time passes differently here than it does elsewhere. Who knows how many weeks we just spent fighting sticks. Grath is painfully aware of this again. Like, the battle just kind of distracted her from the whole Yeah, yeah, I know. Karina That's made, kind of so she's just... just kind of like, oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, we need to get out of here. Let's go. All right, okay. Mm. All right, Snacks, you got, yes. you got uh, Axe? Snacks Axe. Make sure it doesn't say anything uh, mm, evil uh, at you. Just tell us what it's, it's telling you and let's let's get on the road. Yep. Let's get to this labyrinth or whatever lies beyond these starts hedges. starts trying to convince you to kill the rest of us, just give us heads up yes. before you do it. You, you, will be, you will be our translator you of this, this cursed axe. Um, Max, you and me are gonna have a lot of fun together. I'm like, Hell. I'm holding the axe like this and being like, so what's your favorite color? Do the trees look taller than the hedges? Um, where, uh... This tree, this, like, cursed corpse tree. <laughs> well, I mean, there's, it, there's clearly, like, 19 of them. Yeah, I mean, they're definitely taller than the hedges. For no, sure. this one in particular, yeah. Oh, this one sort of looks the same as, as a lot of the others. Well, because presumably there's additional horrors in the other trees. We've already cleaned this one out. I want to climb this tree and see if I can get a view into the hedge to see if there's some what's in it. Okay. Ooh. Great. Can um, I druid craft some, like, vines to make easier handholds? For, please for do, because I don't sure. know how well I so, do a climb. Um, you want to just kind of get a look around? Yeah. In general? Yeah. One, see if I spot a palace anywhere. Two, even though I fully don't anticipate to be able to figure out the maze, at least we can know what's in the maze will directly affect whether we should enter the maze. Right. So what you see, um, to the south, you see um, the garden ending, like where the barrier would be. Now, you don't see the barrier because the, you only see the barrier when you get close. But you know that uh you know the the garden is is very is very detailed and very you know meticulous and and you know it's like the most beautiful garden you've ever seen and then beyond that you just see the hill and and everything so that's to the south that's about 200 feet to the south to the north where you came from you see the lake um basically dead north from where you are to uh to the west is roughly where you think you came from and there's a forest area there to the right is a large clearing with three square hedges um and even from the tallest tree though you see that the hedges <clears throat> from where you are you can't see inside they're too far away and they're and the hedges themselves are too high hmm even from that higher vantage point from up here i cast thaumaturgy so my voice booms okay and i just say julia clancy your families are worried about you come and talk with us and if you wish to stay we'll let you stay and if you wish to go we will take you home uh, um, also it's Le Julie, Leaf is not julia Julie. Leaf's face is cracked into a huge smile and he's covering his mouth as he's trying not to laugh and he's staring at Thanato as he's doing this and shaking his head. I'm <laughs> just like... <sighs> um, to the uh, immediate east, uh, you hear some rustling in the normal trees um, that are away from this, from these, you know, obviously converted trees. You hear some rustling coming towards you. That's where we're going to end today. I totally thought you were going to say, and from the east, you hear, yeah? Okay. okay. <laughs> All right, cool. That All sounds right. good. Anyway, okay. everyone get some rustling. Don, Don <laughs> of the seventh day. You. I mean, yep. <laughs> Leaf is laughing because you used a booming voice on a demonic, like dead sounding, like if you are yeah. like, just, like, <laughs> yeah. I know what I am. <laughs> <laughs> so it reminded me of uh, of a uh, humongous from Road Warrior. <laughs> yeah, just yeah. walk away. <laughs> <laughs> we'll let you live. Just walk away. <laughs> again, 
we are what we are you know (laughs) just like just full aeon flux unblinking eyes fly Mm. lands on it we're here to help (laughs) you know since we have about 10 minutes left i thought that uh we would uh do a little hangout a little after show before we before we end at eight thank you for uh, the bits and subs yeah i want to give let's give a shout out uh should we just all take a turn giving shout out to everybody who uh who gave us bits and subs today i mean yeah. really, thank you Look guys so much for helping out with the show yes thank you okay. you literally make it possible to do what we do so yeah you. this show doesn't exist without you so on mm-hmm. cue, we have a little thank you. visit from the Score. door here oh, okay she's down and, and <laughs> even if we don't get to use the fate points like it's still really like helpful and important so thank you so much like we well, and you see- used most of them you used most of them today so oh they're they're uh scrolling a, uh, a lot of the art Look at the art in the middle oh my too. Goodness. Awesome. I don't see I it. Didn't even, I didn't know we had art. Look at the, we'll get, uh, the broadcast. It's oh, like yay. looking into a mirror. Oh, it's oh so my cute. god! I'm so excited to see. <clears throat> nice. I was that being, I was being awesome. a good. Oh hey, now I'm looking at it. Nice. I was, I was being a good streamer. I didn't have any other window open, so you I gotta to keep it open. open. And That's the not see all the nonsense. Yes. Oh wait, there's, there's a me art. Wait. Oh yeah. no. Yeah. I, I went to the right thing. Oh, Wait, no, I can't. Oh, oh it's a me. <laughs> yeah. 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 This, yeah. Is a, this is an earlier draft of Leaf where he has the Beauregard haircut. And that's yeah. right. <laughs> now, now he's got All stubble. monks have bow hair. And it's it's true. <laughs> you know, I would not openly mock you for having a man bun. Yeah. Leaf would do it. Too yep. it's all gone. Yeah. Promise? It because Leaf ain't no man. Leaf is an orc. Yes. <laughs> Work's gonna do whatever they want. Yeah. Oh, and um, I love that race. It's such a cool race. Magic the Gathering has come up with some really rad races to add to the. I man, I love that they finally That's incorporated me. some Magic the Gathering stuff into D and D. That has been a long time coming. Heck yeah, the Dalkin are dope. Yeah. I love. Ooh. All right, I'll, I'm gonna I'm gonna thank everybody for the bits, and then you guys can thank everybody for the subs. Um, GDA say thank you for the bits Pat 66 uh dirty dirty bathwater uh, <laughs> uh Darth Nail Lord Briarwood 93 Ooh. Deadheart 84 uh oh 9384 Tranigan 334 uh, Nerd Holla that's that's where we that's where we're all going to end up one day Nerd Holla <laughs> Nerd Holla yeah uh <laughs> Eric Jackson, thank you. Good um, name. Somebody take it from here. Uh, thank you, Lagging Wagon, for for the sub, gift sub. I'll just mm-hmm. read them all if no one else jumps yeah. in. Yeah, keep going. Oh, keep yeah, going. Okay, yeah. 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 <laughs> thank you, Simply Benini, uh, Narqua 23, Darth Nail, Neil, Darth Nail, and Eric Jackson. You're all amazing. Thank you so much. Also, I think Eric gave me a gift sub, so thank you. <laughs> Yes, yeah, I was hoping someone would give, give me one, too. but yeah. I, didn't, I didn't get one yet. Uh, well, maybe I already have one. I don't know. Uh, which space? Which space just gives it another five? five. And oh, then thank you. Uh, and awesome. then we have we have another supporter. Huge, huge thank you to Michael Gray. Oh, thank who, you. Uh, then again, donated a uh, uh, just a, a a nice rent, a nice big amount to uh, help uh, keep the show going. So thank you, Michael Gray. Seriously. You want to make sure we got another episode. Thank you, thank hey. you. Oh, look at More leaf art. Look there you go. There, there's, uh, well, it looks like oh leaf God. got a, d- d- your your hair is happening. Yeah. It's true. Yeah. Um, um, <laughs> more than the hair hey, was happening leave. with that photo. That was that was like a lingerie special. How you doing? Yeah, right? Like, <laughs> what, like leaf, what's that? Leaf, leaf, leaf is the orc version of Patrick Swayze in his prime. I mm-hmm. love <laughs> That, oh, I, I would like to subscribe one. to Leaf's Only Hands. Road a flurry of blows. <laughs> only <one. laughs> on, on my hands. Oh my nice. I, mine is only mud there. <laughs> Old house. Yeah. Um, yeah. What's good? Thank you. Yeah. So if you want your art, if you like your art showcased, um, just uh, tag at uh, GaryCon on Twitter, and we'll probably play it next week. And by the way, another huge shout out. To Kai Norman for making this. Yeah. Uh, and, uh, Thank you, Kai. Yo Kai, right? Or Yo Kai props. Yo, Joe. Yo Kai props. I, I mean, do think, this... wait, our email that's there in the night bot, that's twitch at garycon.com, not c o n c dot o m, right? Yeah, there we go. Perfect. Had the wrong email address. Perfect, perfect, it. perfect. Oh, yeah, we got it. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> yeah we stand Kai Norman in this house. Nice. Yo Kai props. Mm-hmm. He's an excellent fabricator. Pay him to make you stuff. 
Yes. Right. Yeah. Hundo P. So I I think the garden's going super well, y'all. How are we feeling? I hate oh, it. Yeah. I if love it. The, yeah. the lucky fire doesn't work, I would burn it to the ground. I want to stay forever. <laughs> I just want to say that if this show does well and there ends up being an offshoot, Snacks in the Axe would be a great buddy cop film. I am down be on our first this. Side project, I'm already <laughs> picturing yeah. the Beastie Boys music video to this of like to sabotage, but it's, <laughs> it's Snacks in the Axe. Also, yeah. there's a non-zero chance that we are going to end up staying here forever, whether we wanted to or not. Yeah, it's true. Yeah, this is about oh. to become changing the loss. God has helped us. Yeah, Groth wants to get out of there ASAP. <laughs> Run away! It's not a bit of a time Run constraint. <laughs> so there's a, there's a few ways you can you can go. Um, One is left, the other is right. The, you still have the <laughs> lake I mean, possibly to explore, or you could head right to the hedges and check out what's there. Of course, what we need to remember is that every way around here is the Queen's Way. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And also, if you remember, um, you were told specifically not to harm anyone in the garden. So that will be something you have to deal with at some point. If everything oh. they told us has been a lie. I mean, <laughs> yeah. for real, though. Like, every single thing that they told us has not worked. And it's been the opposite. And it's like, except for the fire thing. Though. They did tell the you fire, fire didn't thing. Mm. Well, <laughs> you know. I'm just some saying, Porphyria's dead, and I'm going to be in charge of this place by the time we leave. It's mine. Yes. You can have it. Thank you. I don't know. I just, I just had, like, a barbarian baby. I got my axe now, and I'm just like, oh, you're actually kind of cute now. Mm -hmm. Like, talking uh, well, axe Before was we um, sign off, I want to thank our sponsors one more time, too. Seriously. Of course, Gary Khan for putting the show on Thanks, Luke. And, uh, yeah. for those of you who um, are not familiar with what Gary Khan is it's a convention uh, an annual game convention celebrating the life and works of Gary Gygax the father of role-playing games and the co-creator of Dungeons and Dragons um, uh, Jim Wampler did our logo and uh, of course we have the shield by Kai Norman uh, and our sponsors are today are Chaldea Dwarven Forge, Sirenscape, and Idle Champions. Um, and I love the fact that these are all, uh, you know, companies that we get behind. It's per the, the great thing about, I think, RPGs on stream is that there's so many great sponsors that are all ones that we're all proud to have as a sponsor. So, yeah. Um, well, Thank you all. I mean, yeah. it if we can all just like put out for intention that maybe like i don't know a makeup company will sponsor us yo <laughs> yeah that's yes. pretty dope <laughs> what was that what is that company that marisha always used to recommend what if snacks had her own um uh, makeup line it's you know, just that's the ultimate that's that's the ultimate goal yeah also know. if anybody uh is interested in my makeup i did make a uh TikTok time lapse of what it looks like when i put this on it's like a an hour and a half to two hours that i didn't cut so check out my TikTok. i guess we're doing goodbyes now um check out my TikTok, which is under <laughs> the same name vivid vivka you can also check me out on twitter uh all other social media is a just existential crisis depression hole so i don't really use them anymore they're there you can follow me but it's going to be really quiet so mm. TikTok and twitter vivid vivka me snacks welcome thank you goodbye yeah we'll go backwards uh eric you'd be next in reverse alphabetical order okay uh so yeah eric obviously is my name uh you can find me pretty much everywhere at 16 bit eric and of course, Monday nights over on Q Times is where me and the rest of the stream punks do a lot of our shows. We've been for doing fulfillment for uh, a fundraiser we did last summer recently. Uh, last Monday night, we had uh, the Bachelorette Tin Candles uh, horror game that got ran by Ray Film hey. Say. Uh, this, How did that go? That, it, was, it was so demented. And Jackson Lansing, the great writer himself in all of his and all of his brilliance came up with the douchiest whitest name i've ever heard in my life he was playing a dude named brashley and brashley oh yes. my god and and wow. uh and uh he 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 was he was brashley bro 
like and he was one of the contestants on on it's just phenomenal i can hear phenomenal. the popping of a polo shirt's collar every time oh, you say my god it. Oh, i'm just gonna say at one point he ended every up time you say it here and i'm it was just Every time you say it, somewhere a collar pops itself. Yeah. (laughs) This week, um, Gina DeVivo, uh, this Monday night, Gina DeVivo is returning to true form because you know how much, uh, those of you who know me know that back to my old Geek and Sundry days, one of my favorite things that we ever did to that channel was Minds and Crafts. And so this Monday, we have Gina doing uh, Minds and, oh, no, no, sorry, Crafts and No Minds. She's going to be doing a crafting show with her sister, uh, and uh, it's gonna be good. And then after that, Bonnie Gordon is running it. And then I'm running Star Trek because Star Trek is what I run at that channel all the time on Mondays. And that's all I got for now. But there's gonna be more stuff coming. Up. Uh, I just want to interrupt there and say, back in the Geek and Sundry days, um, often uh, the show that I was on, Foreververse, was yeah. right after Minds and Crafts. Yeah. So I would often come home with glitter all over everything. Yeah. Yeah. They'll do that to you. Yeah. Craft yeah. herpes. So yeah. I, um, for as much as I appreciated uh, Minds and Crafts, I always liked it when Foreververse was on a, got moved to a different night. Boo. Then at least I wouldn't have glitter all over. No, it. boo, boo, boo. We need JCM and glitter. <laughs> that's that's not even that's yeah, not even a question. Yeah, I think your, in my old, I think on my uh, MySpace profile uh, back in the day, I I wrote a big dissertation about how much I hated glitter. Like that was part of my profile. And glitter oh heard God. you. I am. This is on. literally a thing I... of just glitter. That I <laughs> well, to I'm glad we're remote right now. Right. Never get yeah, close get to up. me. I will. <laughs> You'll destroy us <laughs> all. Yeah. Perfect. And it's the spiky. Like my uh, eye has oh. gone red because there is a glitter just tearing my eye open. Also, in in conclusion, just as a quick wrap up to that, uh, the game that we normally run on Monday nights at Q Times is uh, uh, Clear Skies, which is a Star Trek Adventures RPG. And you can actually catch some of the Clear Skies material along with some other NPCs I created in Star Trek Online, where you can also find Jason Charles Miller playing the voice of various Klingons and other characters. So if you ever wanted to fly the USS Ross, which is our ship in Clear Skies, you can actually get it in Star Trek Online and fly it around. It's pretty cool. That's and uh, right. yeah, in Star Trek Online, I'm actually the voice of the Klingon computer. So if you right. play Wait, you're as everywhere. a Klingon, you're the Talison of Star Trek Online. You're, <laughs> yeah, you're all, you, everywhere he is. So you're you're like all these voices. Yeah. So you will get yeah. me. You will get me yelling at you uh, on like how you know. Move forward and press X to pick up the weapon. It's so threatening. Oh, that's everything <laughs> I've ever wanted. <laughs> so yes. cool. Um. Uh, reverse alphabetical order. B Dave. It to me. Uh, are we off next week? Just by the way, because we haven't said that out. Yes. Loud. Uh, you know what? Yeah, we should say that. So mm-hmm. we're not off next week. We will be here next week, but um, uh, we're basically going to have a hangout next week. We're gonna we're gonna tell stories. Right. Like get to know us better. We're gonna talk about um like the first time we ever played D and D we're going to talk about the first time we all met each other. We're just going to talk about stuff like that. Cause we, uh, I think, uh, Dave had a commitment and, uh, he may pop in. You might pop in at the end, right? If you can. Yeah. There's a chance. There's a chance. Um, so we'll be back on with the adventure in two weeks, but we will be here next week at the same time. Cool. I don't know if I'm going to be here because yeah. Uh, I'm having fang issues and I need like all of the teeth ripped out of my face and put back in. Mm. Uh, so I might be a chipmunk and so I might not be here, but I might, um, I might show up totally yep. out of my head on the meds with like chipmunk cheeks looking nuts. So you're going to want to see that. So you don't want to miss it. In. You're That's not going to want to miss yeah, it. Do. Literally way, must we say screaming. Something you. fun. Uh, I'll be a hot regardless. mess. Come see. Literally. Uh, so that makes it nice. also hello B Dave Walters I say words about things you can find me all over the interwebs whenever fine streaming content can be located uh, got to tape something we're working on with the Bria earlier today get pulled a double dose with the Bria uh, gonna be taping some stuff with JCM next weekend also pulling a double dose um, right. and you can find me most importantly Thursdays at Foir Pacific on D&D Twitch and uh, YouTube for the Black Dice Society which is our ongoing Ravenloft stream so cool. and, uh, well thank you very much yeah it's terrible and they're going to a not nice place Falcovnia is unpleasant so yeah should be a grand old time 
because there's so many pleasant pr places in Ravenloft. Yes, but there's <laughs> there's there's a, there's distinctively worse places. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Just get worse and worse. Yeah, I mean, not all one ply toilet paper is created equal. That's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yep. That's it's, it for uh, me. Adriana. Ravenloft. We don't go to Ravenloft. <laughs> Ravenloft Did comes to you. Get that Half-Life uh, reference no? Okay. <laughs> Anyways, I'm uh, Adriana or uh, Adriosa online. You can find me on Twitter at Adriosa Gaming, uh, also Instagram, but on Twitch, I am just Adriosa. I'm also trying to do TikToks as well at Adri Casador. If you want to, I, I'm attempting it. I'm just, I'm nice. like, screw it. I'm just doing it. Um, um, but yeah, I do uh, video games every Sundays for sure. Every Sunday evenings on my Twitch channel. But I do TTRPG fun stuffs with, you know, with the pack on Saturdays. <laughs> but um, you know, one shots here and there um, throughout the week. I'll post on my social media um, if I do other uh, D and D or TTRPG shows. But otherwise, just you know, mostly gaming and nerdy content on my social media. So that's it, girl. And text me about TikTok. Oh my god, I'm obsessed. <laughs> I will. TikTok expert. She's already helped me get some good views on things. I love TikTok. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I will talk to you about it. Um, Abria. Hi, I'm Abria Iyengar. You can follow follow me on social media at Quiddy, Q U I D D I E. Um, I have a podcast about Avatar The Last Airbender called Storybenders uh, that releases sometimes. <laughs> it's fine. Time's a flat circle. It doesn't mean anything. Uh, on Wednesday, this upcoming Wednesday, the 21st, is the season two premiere of Into the Motherlands. I'm joining the cast. Yeah. He is the lead designer. So uh, I he had to do so much stuff because I was like, I would like to be a new thing, please, that isn't in the game yet mm -hmm. very much. So just cool. 